Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. It's Alan, the comic collector geek, and I'm joined with my um, other self, other half. I don't know what you are. <laughs> <laughs> the other person that haunts me. I don't know. My stalker. I don't know. What are... <laughs> stalker. <laughs> stalker. <laughs> my nemesis. Um, That's. Uh, I like that better. That nemesis. You like the nemesis. Okay. <laughs> nemesis, nemesis is good. Uh, Hey, Communion. Hi, Riley. So yeah, um, the cart thief, whatever. We we know huh. there's lots of terms. Um, so cart yeah. thief. The cart thief, yeah. So yeah. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, so hi Steve. And um, yeah, so today I nobody watched my video today. I was like very sad. Nobody watched my um my 10 thingies video like where i was showing collectibles that are not that are comic related but not comics i watched and, yeah but it didn't get that many views it's like you know I, I i have high expectations like you know i'm like okay so matt yes thank you you did so you and steve were the only two people that watched that video so but nobody noticed that i only showed nine items i said 10 but I forgot. I was like, <laughs> I was gonna show ten items. I even had the item, the tenth item, next to me, and then I forgot to show it. I just blanked out. I had all the items on the, my desk, and then I was like, oh, there's one on the floor that I was supposed to show. That's quite quite big, hard to miss. But I forgot to show it. So I'm going to show it right now. Okay. Okay, and then we'll we'll go into the regular comic thing. I just feel like I have to. You know, it's like unfinished business you know you gotta finish it off sure. so yeah so um hi tim and thanks for watching it steve <laughs> and thanks k munin also watched it okay so i got the thing right next to me i'm gonna show it you're probably gonna think it's pretty lame but it's cool to me okay so is my zombie tramp statue <laughs> get all the zombie tramp goodness on it and you get to choose which one you want you get the there's the black bikini there's the red bikini and then there's the zombie the red lingerie zombie fied version so i pick that version and oh I'm that's show you the that. best one for sure that's the best one yeah yeah yeah. because it's like you know it's kind of like the haven't the you theme. even opened this up before yeah i've shown this before i just i don't know I'm showing it again. <laughs> I'm showing it again. It's... I haven't actually opened it since moving to Ottawa, strangely enough. I had I had sort of repacked after like when I moved here. One sec here. I don't know even how I can get this out. Oh yeah, here it is. Opens on this side. Did you do? I'll put that on the floor so it's like i even kept i keep everything right i'm like you know like one of those people that has to keep everything in the original packaging it's very three-dimensional and you'll see what i mean by that <laughs> three-dimensional okay so isn't that cool and she's on like very the good. zombie tramp book with the i know that way maybe he's who sculpted it dan mendoza yeah uh i think dan mendoza you know probably it's his his design but obviously you know somebody else i don't know who actually sculpted it one sec here it says zombie tramp 2016 trademark copyright held by dan mendoza and or action lab entertainment inc uh this is number 63 of 1000 a thousand of them yeah manufactured by diamond select toys so i don't think he sold that many because <laughs> this is number 63 and i bought it way after it was released so i don't think he sold that many so you can probably still get this you know he probably has like a big <laughs> warehouse filled with these zombie tramp uh statues you keep freezing and unfreezing, my friend. Oh, is it okay? Um, chat people. Um, 
Is it me freezing or is it Steven that's having issues? You gotta tell us, okay? I'm not sure if it's my internet or his internet. So uh, yeah, you guys can tell us in the chat. But it's kind of a cute little... Yeah, so Rob says I'm good. It's you, Steven, that's having internet issues. Okay, well, it's, I'm down at the beach. That's the reason why. Yeah. So, yeah. So well, I oh. apologize if I if I if I'm not my usual uh, self. Uh, then I I blame the internet. You can see your hands are pretty cool too. And there. So I'm showing all the all the three D three D ness of her. So yeah. So that's um. That's the other item I wanted to show, but I didn't show. Very good. <laughs> it's, it is what it is. I, I, I don't know. I like it. I used to, you know, I used to, I don't know where to put it anymore. So it's something. Oh, wait, little... excuse me. Excuse me for just a moment. I, I must have a drink of coffee. Oh, yeah. Look, what is that beautiful mug? Does it make the oh, coffee gosh, taste? Look at this. Yeah. Oh, wow. And <laughs> you freeze up. Okay, so um, that I, I heard that that makes like if you drink coffee, if you're a tr coffee drinker, it's not really coffee unless you drink it in one of those mugs. Is what I was told. Well, any I can see why I'm freezing because any internet that see your face long enough, it freeze anything, Alan. Yeah, yeah, I, I have that effect on on the internet. Um, Very, it's a power. It's a power. <laughs> it's a power. Not a good power, but it's a power. Um, okay. <laughs> I so, um, so yeah, so that was that was my toy. I, that's all I had to show. Now we're done. See you next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, one sec here. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to put this thing back. One sec here. Oh yeah, that's good. I think. Okay. Um. So yeah, so I got a bunch of books to show. Do you have any books to show? I have none today because I all my books are back in town. Stephen is personally funding Alan's channel, probably. Uh, that um, dollar that I made from that, actually, what did you do? I didn't even make a dollar from it I, because I, I paid for that mug. <laughs> so the dollar that I, I think, lost. Alan, <laughs> I, I, I think you're ahead of the game. Yeah. I, I, I think you're ahead of the game. I don't think so. Um, I need a few you billion don't think dollars. So. Okay. Yeah, I, I just, I need a few billion dollars to fund my comic book enterprises i don't know so yeah so um but i'm going to show a bunch of books since you don't have any books that means i just show a lot of books i don't know i i i will kibitz and i will ask questions and embarrass you as much as i can yeah so you'll ask questions i'll, I'll, I'll be like be, i don't know be, so like you know artists on the cover year of manufacture uh, what well, company did it? Since blah, I have a lot blah, blah, of slabs, it's easy to do a lot of that information. I can say, okay, oh, so I, and I can pretend I actually know. All slabs, very good. Mostly slabs, yeah. So, um, okay, we'll start out with this one. Like, I, these are books that I just sort of found. Like, well, not found, but reorganizing, right? So that's what's next to me. And I'm going to, I'll just show a bunch. Um, I'll try to keep you on screen so that you can, we can, you can get, I can get your reaction. So, it's a great book. So there's this Showgirls. I actually thought this was the first uh, series, but it's actually the second series. Showgirls is the second series. The original series is Sherry the Showgirl. Those are expensive. Those are really expensive. <laughs> They're insanely expensive. I tried bidding on them, and it just went like kept on going up. And I was like, oh, okay. They're more expensive than I thought. <laughs> Well, not only, I mean, low-grade copies, and frankly, Millie the Model's got a lot of really good ones as far as- Yeah, that are movie. as good. I would say as good. This is um, all Dan, it's all Dan to Carlo. Yeah, I mean, this it, is, yeah, Sherry this is, is gonna, blonde on the end. Sherry looks just like Millie anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's the same character, really. Uh, as you can see Dan to Carlo. Yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty cool one. Uh, so this is 1957. I believe um, Sherry the Showgirl came out like 56. So these are all pre pre uh, post code books, which is interesting. You know that this is much more uh, a lot of leg show. Yeah, and this is after the code. <laughs> That's uh, how long was uh, 
DiCarlo's career? Um, I mean, he started in the early uh, or mid 40s, I would say, right? Yeah, golden age all the way into bronze for yeah, sure. Yeah, into bronze, yeah. Um, he was kind of like an Archie regular, basically. He was very much so. Um, but he did good girl stuff too. He did naughty cartoons or, or, or innuendo cartoons, uh, much like Bill Ward did. There's quite a few oh, Dan really? Carlos, and they're really good. I haven't seen those, actually, to tell you the truth. Um, because, you know, like my if you start, and eyes, If you start you know, riffling <laughs> through all those Ward humoramas that you have, you'll yeah. find them. There's some Dan DiCarlo in there as well? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I didn't notice. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm just trying to think of ones where I've seen his art in terms of those ones. But I, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Um, okay. So, that was that's Showgirls. And another one right under it was... Um, you know, this I, I showed this one before. I, I mean, showed all these before at one point or another. But do you recognize this one, or do you like this one? Yeah, I I, I don't recognize it, but I do like it. Uh, who did the cover? Uh, it says um, doesn't say. <laughs> it says okay, it's one of these guys. So it's either uh, Sal uh, Gentile or Gentile, uh, Vince Galetta, or uh, Morris uh, Waldinger. Did it? It has Vince Coletta. Yeah, that's probably a Coletta cover then. Probably. Yeah, I'm not sure. I I don't like when they don't sign it, so it's hard to figure out. But I, I like these underwater covers. I don't know, and well, sexy girl covers. So yeah. Oh, wait. very cool. Oh, so Big B is still at work, I guess. But he's in the background, so he might come. Uh, it's five. It's five fifteen here. Yeah, yeah. Well, Is that right, still, man? He might be Only still working. He might be working late. He might be working late. You know, he's gonna make money. Okay. How do you know him. that, Matt? What? He said that Coletta only did inks at Charlton. I mean, I was curious. How do you know that? How do you know that? Yeah. That's a good question. So I don't know who did it, but it could have been. Who did it? Who did it? <laughs> it's So it's Career Girl number 37. Okay. These ones, I know who the artist is. Actually, yeah, it actually says. Strangely. Okay. You, you have these ones too. Oh, yes. I have a gorgeous, I have a raw of that one. It's, I think it's at least an eight. It's oh, wow. a, we got a long, long time ago. So he's saying uh, we're at Marvel. His first pencils were at Marvel. Hmm. I don't know. I remember seeing Coletta doing something other than at Marvel. I, I think I remember seeing Coletta on the other I have things. Seen, I actually, I think I have one. I can't bring it up, but I think that isn't quite right. Yeah, we'd have to we'd have to look it up. So you're, um, you're the man, Matt. I mean, I I rely, but this one Google I've time. actually seen Coletta yeah. stuff. So. So yeah, so this is uh, Al Felstein. It sure um, is, and um, really great one. I always like how like it looks like you know almost like a wet T-shirt or something like where it's very like like <laughs> like. Well, that's your egg, that's your egg painting uh, frock, and mm -hmm. uh, Junior's going to fiddle with her eggs, you yeah. know. And I there's a there's something going on in that statement, but I'll just leave it as <laughs> fiddling with her eggs. Well, he totally dropped the eggs, actually. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it says lingerie panels. If you ever read these, they're actually quite... Every good. single one of them has lingerie panels. Yes, every single one. Uh, very good stuff inside. Very interesting. Like, um, I I have the uh, the big book, you know, the Junior and Sonny book. It's like a um, hardcover and with all the mm -hmm. stories inside. That's mm -hmm. quite good. I, I really enjoyed that. That's right up there. I, as you know, I have one as well, but I have, mine was signed by Feldstein himself. Oh, wow. Okay. I well. have a signed copy of that book, which I've never opened. Uh, I, I have it, but it's, it's uh, you know, I have I have a signed copy by, by Big Al signed it himself. 
So did you meet him at a convention or what happened? No, no, I bought it. Uh, I, I bought it uh, signed. Uh, it's sealed and it's signed and sealed. Um, so he okay, so Matt is saying he started with pencils at Timely and Better Publications. Well, Timely and Better are before, I mean, those are earlier. Those are earlier than Charlton. Than, than, the, than the Atlas that, that uh, Alan, or the, whatever that one was, it was you showed. Uh, it was Charlton. Okay, well, that was Charlton. Charlton, uh, Charlton, Charlton. Yeah, Coletta, Coletta had some stuff going on earlier. I mean, this was like 1966. The one that I was well, showing. Well, he was long before that. If he was still with Timely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So did I show this one? I don't know a lot of stuff, but I know a few things. That's okay. a great one. This is, I think this was your favorite, wasn't it? No. Oh, my favorite no. one is where they're stepping, uh, sure. stepping onto the boat is my favorite one. But one I like right. all of them, really. But stepping right, onto sure. the Can boat. Can you see that one? Yeah, the yellow one? Paid less. Yeah, and I have the same grade, and and I paid considerably more than you did for yours. You got yours a lot better than mine. Yeah, more I mean it's more favorably than I did. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty expensive book, regardless. Oh, it's killer! It's it's <laughs> it, it's hard it's, to find them in any kind of grade, and and that particular cover, legs akimbo, stepping into a canoe, and that's you that love is that legs trope, akimbo like, thing. That is a trope by Feldstein as well. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, so those are my, I actually like this one a lot. I actually do really like this one. Um, oh, it's cool. You like the roller coaster too. Yeah, so my two other favorites would be the, so you can see the roller coaster and the, I'm not sure if you can see that, but we'll I pretend can. you guys can see. You and can then see you can see it. next, and that's Brenda Starr, and you can see all the good girls in that one line of my comics there. That's a wow. That's a wow line. Yeah. And, then, and it starts with little dot. I know you gotta, you know, little dot. She's hot, she is That's, hot. Okay, look, I don't know if you noticed this, but little dot is kind of flashing. Oh, look, she always uh, is showing her underwear. Yeah, exactly, and she's showing lots of leg. She's showing lots of leg, so you know it. It it makes sense. It's like totally logical. Um, Alan, <laughs> so, do you know what little dot's real name is? I know. Nor do I. Okay, well, <laughs> I thought it was just a little dot. Okay, so, uh, so why do you ask these questions and then you make me like look dumb? I, I just, I, it's, it's just. It's, it's, it's a it's fun a thing reflex. for you, right? It's, it's a reflex. Okay. okay, so don't make me call you a premier, prime minister. Okay, okay. <laughs> prime minister, you know what that means, right? Prime minister. Uh, yes, please don't call me that. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so, so we got, um, then we got Sonny, That's another, great. yeah, this, Sonny and Junior came out at the same time. Um, and this one, you know, this is a good one. Where I'm, I'm not really quite sure why he's coming in through the window or is he trying to escape or what's going on? Why is he, and no, the poor little mouse is coming in. He's coming in from the window with the shotgun to shoot the mouse. Yes. But why, why come in through the window? Is because my it's because Feldstein wanted her to, him to come in the window. Okay, well, that makes no sense at all. But I, I like the fact that the little mouse is very confused by the whole situation. The, the mouse is going, what's the problem? <laughs> I know, exactly. Uh, and this one, did you, did you know that this one also has lingerie panels? <laughs> it's like, they're all, they're all denoted with lingerie panels. It's like, hello, yes, yes, they all have lingerie panels. So. Yeah, it's one way to get rid of um, a mouse. Hard Can on the see? floors. Yeah, yeah, it would be very hard on the floors. Okay, we got one more, and it's a junior. So a lower grade, but it presents well. This is a different girl. I I, I don't know. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I like the 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 black haired girl or the blonde girl. I like the I think I like the black haired girl better. There's Dina, and I can't think of the other one's name. There's yeah, I, I forget their girl's and, name. Uh, the too. other one. But both yeah, you're of right. Them it's Dina both and something. Both and hot. The, the, the dark-haired one seems more of the... Uh, the blonde is sort of... The, 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 the Noirette is more like Veronica, and mm -hmm. the blonde is more like Betty, or she kind of keeps up, you know, it's sort of like the, 
you know, keeping up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this one you can really, I mean, you can really sense the the whole Archie ripoff. <laughs> you know, it's like it's very much an Archie ripoff. Well, I, thought um, the dog taking, I thought the dog taking a leak on the hydrant was particularly telling. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like a little. Uh, what's it called? Uh, dachshund? A uh, dox? Uh, no, something. How? Dachshund. Dachshund. Yeah, dachshund. Um, so yeah, so this one also has launch rate panels. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, and she's doing her Marilyn Monroe impersonation with the skirt, right? So yeah, just some fun stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really like it. So those are my juniors. So I, I have to organize this. It's like, I, I'm going to show you, have, you guys. You have a full set of junior? Yeah, full set of Junior and Sunny. So there was that red cover. You didn't show the red cover. Uh it's raw. Oh, okay. So it's in a it's I have a box with uh my Disney and my Junior and Sunnies, <laughs> which is messed up. But um so then okay, so then my next thing. I don't think I showed this one because it's in my next unboxing, but I'll show it anyways. Uh, but the next one, not this one, but you've seen this one before. Mm, I like it. Yeah. Uh, this is Miss America number one. And this is Why from... Uh, it's Missing Centerfold. Mm. But even with the Missing Centerfold, I actually was lucky on this one. They had it on my comic shop uh, in the auction. I think it was like the january or one of the prime auctions right mm -hmm. and uh i checked the previous sale and the previous sale was like 1300 or something like that oh what a beautiful mug uh and premium. it matches your shirt too premium premium um and um <laughs> so uh the previous auction the previous sale for this book was um this this actual copy too uh was like 1300 and I won it for eleven hundred, so oh, I got that's it. That's good. Yeah, so I was quite happy. Um, but I was There's actually not kind very of... many. There are not very many of that book. There no, it's really, really hard to find. Many. Actually, really hard to find. Um, you know what's interesting? Um, so oh, bell, you didn't ring the bell. I have. Matt's I have like, had my bell with me. Matt, there is no bell to ring. Ding, 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 ring. ring. I I would like I to know. ring the bell, but my my bell's back back at home. Wait, why do the do those hotties date these uh, clods? Um, cads, cads, clods, cads, cads. cads. These... Do you know what a cad is? Yeah, it's sort of a goof. Uh, not a goof, well, but not, uh, a not... Goof. not a goof. He's he's a guy that takes advantage. He's a creep. takes advantage of the girls. Yeah, um, he's a creep. That's a cad. A cad. Yeah. Um, is it not it's, to be I... confused with klutz? And I yeah, think no, that no, the it's not a clod. Uh, it's girls... not a clod. Um, the vast majority of the girls that are the good-looking girls in these comics are hooked Always up with Always date the loser guys. A schmuck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I don't know. It's like it's, it's the Archie thing. It seems to work. People like that. Well, you know, he looked like a bunny to begin with. I know. He had the huge buck teeth. It was really weird. But this one. Okay. So, off topic. But, um, yeah. So, this one is by Ken Bald. Um right. And it's from 1944, Miss America number one. And the weird thing about Miss America, I don't know, there wasn't that many um, covers that were actually art. Like they were mostly photo covers. What month? Like, what month of uh, 44 was it? Uh, it says Timely Comics 1944. It doesn't say which. <laughs> no, because he, say. Went, he went into the Marines. Yeah. So maybe that's why. Maybe that's why they uh because pretty much most of the ones after this one were all like photo covers. He so, went into the Marines and he acquitted himself. He ended up he came out a captain. I mean, just from the coming up at, you know, really. Um, so are any of the ones going up on the wall? I was actually debating about one or two concepts with my wall behind me. So I was either thinking of changing everything. And making it all good girl or changing everything and going pre-code horror 
So I haven't decided which way I'm going to go. Well, pre-code horror will have a lot of good girl in it. So you'd you yeah, basically yeah. Well, kill two birds with my one My pre-code star. horror definitely has a lot of good girl in it. What little pre-code horror I have is is basically good girl. Uh, I mean, yeah. I don't really have, I don't have just straight monsters, so, so to speak. I, uh, you, but it's like, but it's you like, like the slave girl, eh? So slave wells, there are exceptions, you know. So usually the way, like, if you look, there is like a, some weird logic to what I do behind me. Like I always like having those sets, like, you know, slave girl, it's like only two issues. So I like having the set. The, um, that second then, issue is expensive as hell. The I second issue is expensive. I just saw I just saw the second slave girl in a relatively oh. high grade, and they wanted the Earth, Moon, and the stars for it. Oh, really? I, I you know the funny thing is I got the second one cheaper than the first one. I know the the blue cover is is really really good. I do have that one as a raw, but mm -hmm. I've I I haven't uh, I haven't. I was, uh, and who did the covers on those? I'm sorry, I'm uh, I'm asking. Okay, well this is why. Better get me. Uh, it looks like Howard Larson. Larson's good. Yeah, he's good. So, uh, Dorothy Polka is Little Dot's real name. I knew it was something Dorothy, actually, strangely, because Dot and Dorothy kind of makes sense. Thanks, ancient comic guy. I try to ask nice questions, and look what he does. He gives me he gives me all kinds of static when I ask about it. I don't know. <laughs> that. What are you talking about? Thank you, well, ancient okay. comic guy. Okay, so now we know. We know. Thank you, ancient comic guy. Uh, so yeah, and so and now what's little name, dot. Alan? And what's her name? Dorothy Polka. Okay. Which kind of makes sense. I Polka dot. That. I Polka want to dot set that is... into the engrams. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll remember that, but but sure Polka dot makes makes sense, right? Polka dot. I'll, I'll I'll taunt you with it. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, you'll ask me like uh, you know I this didn't is ask it's you like maybe Healy was. What? I didn't ask you who Baby Huey was. I'm not a big fan of Baby Huey. Yeah, I know you love Baby Huey, you, you know. But you I, know what I, I did? I just real quick, when I would buy cards, mm -hmm. I would never buy a pack of cards and then hope to buy another pack of cards to try to put the run together. I saved my money and I would go and I'd buy the whole box. Okay. And then I would go home and I would put together my set. And if I had dupes, I would use those to trade for other stuff. But I always wanted to make sure that I got the full set. And so I just but, bought an entire box at the same time. But if you bought a whole box, sometimes you wouldn't get a full set. Or would you? Well, I, I remember with I did buy a full box of Baby Huey cards because I thought Baby Huey was fun. And I got <laughs> a complete set with extras. And uh, there were no chase cards. And it had that. It had that petrified uh, uh, paint bubble, bubble gum? gum that had, and what the way they kept it from that that gum parts. will slice your mouth. It's like it's like like it's like <laughs> it's like sharp. Oh, it's it's like stone. But yeah, yeah. you know how they got it to not stick to the cards? They they powdered it with talc. Okay, that's good. They put talcum powder on it to make no, it so they would. Starch. Oh, Susan says cornstarch. Cornstarch. Okay. Talc. Okay. Cornstarch. Okay, cornstarch won't hurt you at least. No, not too much. I kind of like the yeah, towel. That gum will will survive a nuclear blast. <laughs> um, no, I, I like I I remember slicing my inside of my mouth with that gum. Like you know, sometimes it would break and it would be like sort of sharp shards. Shards, yeah. Yeah, it was like <laughs> it was brutal. <laughs> it was like. This is not fun. This is not nice gum. Well, you had to you had to kind of suck on it for a while. You break it in half and then suck on it for a while till it softened up, and then it was okay. But if you just tried to start chewing right away, it would break your teeth. Is your wife a collector as well? Uh, I'm. I make Susan into a collector, Lyle. Okay. She. So uh, I bought her. I bought her a Dark Shadows book, and I also mm -hmm. bought her that that. Uh, uh, LB Dracula. LB Cole Dracula cover as well. She Dracula. liked this. Oh wow! And I also bought her a whole big stack of Scrooge McDucks. Oh wow! Good, good. Those are all good choices. I'm still trying to get that Dark Shadows one. I can't find uh, like a. Do you know it's actually hard to get that book with the poster? They, they usually don't have. Yeah, the poster that's. Inside. I have I have that one with the poster, and then Sue got the other one, the one where he's on the cover going like that <laughs> yeah 
Okay, so uh, I was showing Miss America. I'm going to go show one more Miss America. This is actually in the next unboxing. So, you know, a bit of a bonus. You get to see a little bit what's in the next unboxing. I'm not sure. Did I show this one before? No? I don't remember okay. seeing it. Oh, okay. It's a six. It's a high grade. It's a six. Yeah. So this one is like, the funny thing is like these photo covers are usually really cheap. Um, this was like a hundred bucks. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I, I you know, I thought it was you know, a good price. It's a green cover. I love green covers. That's really good. That's really yeah. good. And something about, I, I kind of like the whole cheerleader thing. And the girl kind of reminds me of it. Like um, I used to, when I was a young kid, there was a blonde girl who would sit in front of me and I would, I'd always like throw like love notes at her. <laughs> she kind of looked like this. So um, yeah, I, 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 yeah, she, she didn't like me too much though. Um, oh, <laughs> that's very not sad. nice. It's very sad. Nice Canadian um, boy like you. Yeah, no, I was I was not popular with the girls, but um, is that, at that is time, that, is that what that's what uh, now is that from like forty eight or forty nine or fifty? So this is nineteen forty nine. Okay. And as I said, like most of them were photo covers by this point. So, but I actually thought this was a really cute photo cover, and it's a nice grade. So, hey, I've been picking up the whole run. I mean, it's it's such an affordable run. If you, actually, if you open them up here, oh, one sec, bear with me. Turn on the air. Are you hot? I, yeah, show you. I appreciate that. Put it down to like 67. I'll close these curtains. Okay. I'm going to show you one more. Uh, Miss America. So this one, I didn't have a chance to bag it yet. Okay, so you see this one? Oh, Hudat's here. Hi, Hudat. Hi, Hudat. And we got, uh, you know, the boys are like doing the mistletoe. And she's like deciding which boy to potentially kiss. Maybe I don't know what she's Is doing. It, she has a couple of ornaments in her hands. Yeah, it looks like uh, yeah, like ornaments. Are those? Is but, that a metaphor for what she's really holding? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Like you know, there's you don't need innuendo when you have mistletoe over her head, right? Um. So yeah, so and this boy is like, oh, he's getting all like the guy on the spine. Is, the, he's, get, he's getting hot he's under got the, the hot in the collar, right? So just a cute cover. Now the reason I wanted to show this one is inside. This is the Christmas issue, so you can see like you know like Santa and I'm not sure if you can see all that. Cute. Like, okay, like I'm not really doing very well at that, but the interesting thing about these magazines, so it'd be cartoons. But then you'd also get like, like fashion stuff, like you know, because it's appealing to girls, right? Well, it makes sense. And you know, they they'd have these. And nowadays, it's fashion sense for boys, right? <laughs> yeah, who, who knows? Um, but you know, it's it was really interesting. They would have all these like photos and stuff. So it was kind of like a magazine. It, like half of it was like half of it was a magazine. And then the hat, uh, the other half would be like comics. So it's like, as I said, it's just like a regular magazine on one side uh, for half of it. Did you see Bleakers in the chat? Yeah, I'm gonna say hi to him one sec here. I, I just wanted to show how these the format of these. Look at these two nerds. Oh, well, I'm sure, that, we I'm sure I asked to have you uh, recognize him so he could in hurl insults at us. Thank you. Wow! Wow! And uh, yeah, see, Matt says, baby, it's cold outside, the whole thing. Hey, Matt, my man. Okay, so yeah, so I got all the things there. But I don't know, I think it's kind of interesting how how um, the format, is, as I said, it's mostly a magazine, but it has like, you know, these, uh, you know, a bit of comics inside as well. I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool. It's um, very cute. Okay, so uh, I have to put that in a bag. So, but you nerd pick them up really in our cheap. community, Alan. Nerd what? is a comp nerd is a compliment in our in our society That's here. That's right. That's true. So actually, you know what was funny? I was debating between nerd and geek when I was choosing the name of my Comics channel. Nerd. 
I, I think I, I had his like nerdy comics at one point, but that somebody else had that, or there was a few nerdy ones that I tried and like they, they, you know, you try all the different combinations. I think geek is better than nerd because I think nerd has, is sort of a pejorative. Yeah. That's but not it's, good. That's, that's, that means not good. Alan. Luke said it's a company. But a geek, a geek or the original meaning of geek is somebody that bites the heads off chickens. Oh, is that so? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Someone that bites the heads off chickens? Yeah. So, you know, in the circus, the they would have the geek. And the geek's job would be like, you know, he's like all disheveled and kind of crazy looking. And they would bite the heads off chickens. Well, it does fit, but I... Uh... <laughs> I don't know how it became like, you know, like a nerdy guy or a geeky guy. Well, yeah. there isn't a whole lot of biting heads off chickens going on anymore. Well, only on weekends. My sick. father's my <laughs> father said that his grandmother uh, kept chickens under their house, even right here in in uh, Portland. In the basement. In the basement, down in the basement. And when it was time for dinner, she'd go <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> she'd go downstairs, and Dad said, "You know, you heard the thing where the chicken runs around with its head cut off." Yeah, he says yeah. that's exactly what happened. She'd lop the head off, and the chicken go crazy, running all around. He says mm -hmm. it was really creepy. He says, but the chicken tasted great. And I said, Dad, did you, get, did you get nightmares from that at all? He says, Oh no, of course not. No, no. Oh, okay, I would. No, <laughs> no problem. It was a compliment. No, geek was a yeah. <laughs> in the war. Which war? This is why we don't eat chicken. Um, <laughs> you don't eat chicken? No, I actually avoid chicken. I. I, I why do you avoid chicken? Uh, too much, too much estrogen in the meat. Too much estrogen? Yep. Because, okay. And the so you live on like, you live on apples, is that correct? I live on apples and air, usually. <laughs> so. Peanut butter and crackers. Peanut butter, actually, sometimes they eat peanut butter and crackers. So yeah. That's Susan just said that peanut butter and crackers. Yeah, sometimes peanut butter I, well, I was just acknowledging her. Boy, you must be a you're an easy date to take out for dinner, aren't you? I'm an annoying date for going out because like, you know, I don't really like most foods, so you know, women actually prefer it if you like like food, right? Because then they can once say, in a "Oh, while. yeah, just yeah." Once in a while, <laughs> once in a while, it's nice. But no, they. Honest, you know? I find most women will like you know like if you have a plate of something, they like eating off your plate. So you know, if it's you romantic. don't order food, then they don't really like that, right? No, it's romantic because then, like, yeah, if you yeah. have a dessert, then she can take a couple bites of your dessert, and then she didn't have a dessert; she just had exactly. A couple Exactly. So didn't have, I didn't have a dessert, Alan. Even though 90% gets eaten by the girl. <laughs> That's beside the point. But she didn't have it. You did. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, so yeah. So, um, uh, okay. I'm going to show the next set of books. This is random. Like, like, so we went from good girl. This is why my comics, as I said, are completely in disarray and not organized. Um, so I, I haven't figured out where to put these books. Sponsored by. Um, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this program is bought to you, brought to you by Comic Collector Geek Coffee. By God, that's the best cup of coffee you're ever going to have. <laughs> honey, honey, get the Comic Collector Geek Coffee out. We've got good company coming. It's romantic until she eats everything off your pot, plate. Um, yeah. Um, it's romantic until you get the bill. The barbecue one is really good. You can tell Alan you can get Korean barbecue nuggets at KFC. KFC has Korean barbecue uh, now, oh, Alan. Oh, really? Chicken nugget uh, uh, Korean barbecue. Is it? Okay, so the weird thing authentic, that I experienced... Authentic Korean barbecue. Well, I don't know how authentic it would be. It's authentic. It says so. Well, they're yeah. chicken nuggets, but they put some sauce on them. Sweet okay, well, I'm not sure. Sweet and spicy, it. like you. Yeah, sweet and spicy is not necessarily. Yeah, okay, but we'll. we'll Absolutely pretend. authentic. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so um, what was I going to say? You, did I, you see that? Did you see that people are saying that they don't call it Kentucky Fried Chicken anymore because there is no chicken, and that's why they call it KFC? Have you heard that rumor? <laughs> that's not a true rumor, and it's it's ridiculous. I said, well, then what is it? Rats? You know I mean, why? You know why it's called KFC? There is a reason why it's called KFC. It's the fried. They they were trying to be healthy, and when they had the word fried in it, 
people were like, oh, it's not healthy because it's fried. So they, they just called it KFC. Yeah, no, you, you got to know Americans are all about health with their fast food. Exactly, exactly. Bleaker made, exactly. made um, a very funny comment. You have to watch the chat because it's astounding. Well, I'm, I'm keeping, you know, I have to keep up with you and the chat, so it's hard. Um, I don't need, yeah, get your own plate. I saw that, actually. I thought I clicked on it. Um, <laughs> but I was going to actually say, there was a weird new thing. So you said uh, McDonald's has pre and barbecue. Well, no, in KFC Canada, does. KFC does. Oh, KFC. Okay. Well, in Canada, we have Tim Hortons, right? And Tim Hortons just came out with pizza. Well, they see Jim Hortons doesn't exist in the United Tim States, Hortons. so Tim it Hortons. isn't real. Yeah. They, they don't really have any restaurants. They they, they have them in Detroit because when I was oh there, wow, they have them in well, Detroit. Well, I guess they're in Detroit. I have been corrected. I I have been corrected again. Well, I so <laughs> and. Sandwich. And they the I heard the they uh, the Tim Hortons in Detroit use uh, cornstarch, right? And they use cornstarch. <laughs> That's joking. That's being weird. Well, it won't okay. stick. Yeah, yeah. So it won't stick. Okay. Uh, do you guys remember Super Chicken when you're talking yes. about brothers and sisters now? When you find yourself in trouble and you're let's see, when you find yourself mm -hmm. in danger and you're threatened by a stranger. And it looks like you will take a lickin. There is one thing you should do if there is no one else who turn to call for super chicken. Oh wow! Your Where is super? They say they overlook it. You knew the job was dangerous when you took it. <laughs> wow! He will take the super sauce and bring the bad guys for a loss, and he will bring them in alive and kickin. Uh -huh. There is one thing you should know if there is no one else who turn to call for super chicken. <laughs> Call for super chicken. Baka! So you're not familiar with it at all then? Never saw it. I never <laughs> saw the show. Okay. Just curious. Okay. So um, uh, Quebec is the only place in the world where there isn't KFC. Yes. it's uh, they, they changed the letters because it's in French. They actually changed the order. It's C-F-K or something like that or something like that. I don't know. What, what is it called? Is. It's like, uh, like it's because it's French. They change the order of the words. I forgot what it is in French. Poulet, poulet la place. It's, it's like it's something. Poulet like, la poulet. It's les something with a P because poulet is French. Uh, is is um, yeah, PFK, PFK. That's what it is. Yeah, I was trying to remember. PFK. Um, PFK. Well, that sounds appetizing. Voice like an angel, a dying, strangled, poor, tortured angel. Dying and strangled, <laughs> and tortured. Alan, you are a sweet talker. <laughs> okay. Some um, people say I have a radio resonant voice, Alan. And the face to match. <laughs> Even your wife. Well, he's trying to Okay, well, wrapping it up here. I didn't say I didn't say if it was as if it was in heaven. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And, these are my friends, ladies and gentlemen. These are uh, these are my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Geez, your enemies. Oh my goodness. Boy, they're probably been much nicer to you. Um, <laughs> so, so I was going to show my green llamas. So okay. here's you're going to show us your green llama. Yep, my green llama. Holy crow! Oh, that green llama. Okay, this green llama. So this is green llama number four, and it's him bombing Tokyo. Okay, now with I think I showed this one before, didn't I? I love it. It's a great cover. Yeah. So this one, um, it's a Macro Boy, I believe. And uh, yeah, and Mac it's, Ray Boy. You say Ray Boy, right? It's Ray Boy. Uh huh. Okay. Right. I heard I heard several people say I always have heard it as Ray Boy, and now now I saw people that, and it's interesting too that instead of it being Tokyo with the I Toki T O K I yeah they actually spelled it correctly they actually spelled it with the Y because they I thought they always would spell it with an I to make fun of them and say we'll just misspell the name of their town right mm -hmm. yeah that's what you told I, I remember you telling me that before um, so this is the yeah. origin of Green Llama's magic. And it's, well, it's he, those, he has to it, say it, some it, weird it, phrase. It's those monks singing the songs. Turns it, it trans, it, he says, he says, uh, ipso facto, 
uh, mumbo yeah. jumbo, uh, Kazali, yeah, yeah. Bamba Duty. And then <laughs> the the the, uh, the the monks in Tibet hear that, and so mm -hmm. they start singing the power song, and then he's all powered up, and then then he takes off. He doesn't wear a mask or anything, and he and he kicks serious axes. And you know, my <laughs> my swastika cover is back at CGC now, getting a new holder. Oh, nice. And I do have another situation with Green Llama, but I won't say what it is. But it it has also arrived that will be available to show. Mm -hmm. And when when I see you next, I will have probably another one that will rival the last big. Uh, box opening I had with oh, you. Wow. Yeah, it's wow. gonna be, it's gonna be Bafo. <laughs> Bafo, wow, wow. Okay, I That's actually good. have Bafo. That's theater talk, Alan. That's theater talk. And so you were mentioning this one. Yeah, it's a beautiful You're book. Really old. Susan says I'm really old. This is my wife. <laughs> well, I have my really friends nice. and my wife. I, I I don't know where to turn. Even the dog doesn't like me anymore. Well, okay. We got to be nice to Stephen. So no, now it's too on. late. It's too late. <laughs> too late. Okay. Right. So yeah, this is my version. Mine's only one eight though. So yours is better. Okay. You did better. Well, you did good, man. I, I I think it's a great. It's a classic cover of all the Green Llamas. That was the one that attracted me the the first in the first place. Yeah, me too. This was my favorite. Thing. That's my it's favorite just a cover. Great, great image. Yeah. So that's so I'm gonna show you my almost my entire collection. I think I have like five issues or four issues. Four issues. I have number one, number four, six, and number seven. Yes, number seven. That was the warehouse find. This is the warehouse find. You can tell, like, actually, it needs to be re-slabbed. Like, the slab is not doing it just. It looks like the slab is yellowing. <laughs> the plastic. I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah, I can see it. It's kind of yellowing. The plastic. The 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 plastic, not the, the book. When I saw it, when that warehouse find was found, it had Atomic Comics number one. It had that Marvel mystery that has the magician looking guy. It had that Green Llama and it had Jamboree Comics number one. So those four books and all the comic dealers had had like, you know, eight, 10, 15 copies oh, of wow. those things. I mean, everybody had them. And so then you could afford to be real finicky about it. Unfortunately, I I, just, I didn't, you didn't I pick up a copy. For, I don't they care to go for the, the set. They still I'm go for about. a lot of money. Like, you know, not I'm not saying millions of dollars, but you know, a few hundred dollars in high grade. Like, okay, mm -hmm. so wait, I'm gonna just answer this one question. So why is this a one eight? Um, if you look at the back, that one corner. Oh, wait a sec, right there. Can you see it? I don't know. See how that corner is kind of messed up? Both corners actually. So on the back, and then it has tape all along the spine. Sure it's a great it's a great cover the cover is not affected though the cover image is very beautiful yeah it's quite good um but yeah so that that's that one this one's an eight five i mean it is you know the warehouse fine does like you know but it's still you know i'm happy with eight it. five is eight five eight five is eight five i'd like to change the case though because this case <laughs> is a little it's the old cgc case i mean this must be like one of the early generations right no, that's a, that's that's one of the early ones. That's what I just said. Yeah. Um, it's it, but I think it's like the plastic is. I I didn't realize that the 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 plastic on these ones deteriorated over time. Uh, it depends upon. It's it's just like anything else, Alan. It depends on how that thing was stored over the years. Because mm. I have a lot of original slabs that are absolutely crystal clear still. So it just depends upon how they were how they were left or how they were stored. Actually, you know what's funny? Um, this 8.5 probably actually could get a grade bump. <laughs> it looks like it, somebody didn't press it. I don't think a lot of them were pressed. So this one, it's just like the corner has been kind of bent, but it's not a color breaking. Have it have it pressed when you when you have it. It could when, be like when you, ne when you never will send it in, right? Yeah, I'll never send it in. But I'm just saying it could probably get graded higher. It probably it grade, grade, it'll grade higher. It'll grade higher. I'll get a brand new slab. It'll be great. Will you ever do that? No. So, no. <laughs> but I like saying it. It sounds interesting. It says okay. it sounds good. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds good sounds to good. say. 
Sounds good. Okay, I gotta grab a bunch more. One sec here. Oh, my goodness. Even another Steppo radio commercial. So it's Blake. Okay. Well, I was trying to grab them, and they were heavy. They weren't moving. There's the next Okay, so I'm going to show you my next. This is my next stack of comics. That was... Actually, these are ones are pretty cute. I like these ones. Okay, so... Um... These are all my timely, uh, like teen kind of ones. Like this has Patsy Walker, Cindy, and Georgie. And it's teen comics number 24. I just like it because the girls are fighting over the guy, but not in the normal way. <laughs> They're like fighting not to go out with him. So, well, look at that. Look at that nerd shirt. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. And then they got this smarty pants guy that never gets the girls chomping mm -hmm. on an apple and he's just watching kind of and making these smart ass comments if i was who's the kid is it is the guy oscar what's his name something like that it's either uh so he's georgie right i'm pretty sure georgie? that's georgie that's okay, georgie I was, and this is maybe I, was oscar. Georgie, I would i would punch the lights out of four eyes <laughs> behind it. that's what i'd do um yeah so uh He's oh, not his getting name, his name. No, no, no. His name is not Oscar. It's a bird brain. Bird brain. Yeah. Well, with an affectionate like that, why the girls just can't refuse him. Bird brain. Well, hey, his, bird name, brain. his name. His name is bird brain. His name is Georgie. But yeah. Well, Georgie is Georgie. They want him, but but uh, bird brain it, it needs to take a hike. Yeah. I'll well, that apple to through his ear. <laughs> So, you know, I, I mean, he's cool. Okay, so this is 1947. How violent, How violent I am. Why I know, am I so violent? My goodness. I know, it's kind of scary. Okay, it's... this next one is Nellie the Nurse. Love it. Yeah, that's a good one. Her now, covers is that, are... All... Is that, is it, that's not to Carlo. Is that to uh, um, uh, uh, Giordano? I'm not sure who did these. Like, they never, uh, they never say who the artist is. You'd have to look it, it on comics database. You could you could look it up. Yeah, see, people are asking, what's wrong with Steven? Is he upset? Yeah, where's all the violence coming from? Oh boy, my my fans, I can I can see my <laughs> friends helping me all the way, which is so nice. Did did Patsy Walker like uh, Hellcat? Did she marry Son of Satan? I didn't know. So it's Nellie the nurse number 22. That helps. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wow, I didn't realize that she Hellcat married um, Son of Satan. But yeah, that's cool. I didn't read uh, the, you know, the later issues of um, Hellcat. Who did she marry? Son of Satan. Uh, doesn't say who did the. That's why I said it doesn't say. That's why I said it in a sec. I'm on, I'm working with my laptop, so it's a little bit it's a little bit slower, etc. Mm. Okay, That's I know the, you'll like because I'm slower. Okay, I know you'll like this next one. Because we both I like everything on. you've shown so far. I think it's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. So if you guys watched my short that I put out on my Instagram account and on, I actually put it out on YouTube, but then it had, because it had music in it, it got uh, copyrights <laughs> striked. What? I saw the one, the short. Did they put, make you pull that? They, I, I put it up on YouTube as well, just for fun. Like I figured, hey, I'll put it up on Instagram and on YouTube. And then it got copyright striked on YouTube. So I was like, oh, okay. So I, I had to mute the music in it. And my eyes just really annoying. But um, yeah, here's uh, another book. That's this a is, great one. And it's and signed by Ken Wald. Seeds. He's going to sell seeds. Yes. Because that's what you do. You sell seeds, right? It's like, like all Scotsmen do. 
he isn't going <laughs> to give her a bouquet. He's going to give her seeds to plant to grow the flowers to make her own bouquet. Exactly. Good man. It's a good thing for her. <laughs> and Do she looks one? like she's wearing some kind of a lingerie or something with little little uh, treatment down along the bottom and stuff. And yeah, she's yeah. got the, the satellite girlfriend who's also smoking hot. But they mm -hmm. ever just, gee, you, Cindy, you always get the cool boys. I wish I knew what to do. <laughs> yes, Scotty, the seed salesman's coming. Perhaps I'll make him uh, introduce him to you. So, yeah, that's why my uh, came in and that's why my, my video on YouTube had no sound. That's I, I, I just was like, okay, if they're going to copyright strike me, I'm going to remove the sound to make them happy. Um. I had For some reason, one of, my, one of mine recently. It had it. it had a song. It, it had an Everly Brothers song mm -hmm. that I got from their folder of music to to go along with the books I was showing, which were Matt Baker books, just a, okay. a gaggle of them. And they pulled it. They said that it 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 might be copyright infringement. Uh, tell us if you think we're wrong. And I hit him back. I said, Well, first of all. All these your books music. Are in, and second of all, I got the music out of your folder. Yeah, if it, yeah. it's not acceptable to be used, it, why would you offer it in your folder? Please put me back up. And about four or five days when they says, oh, we have reinstituted your your uh, your post. So uh, we, we just want to make sure. Of course, sure then you... it gets no views, right? I don't know, man. I, I don't know who's, who's watching what. Yeah, so <laughs> for me, like... I don't know why, but my whenever I do shorts, like I do, I, I try YouTube shorts every so often and they always do terribly. They never get any views. It's like, I, I hear about other people get thousands of views on their shorts. And when I do it, it's like maybe a hundred, you know, but then I do a, like a long form uh, video, like two hours or something silly. And people will watch that. <laughs> It doesn't make any well, sense. They just Alan, they just can't get enough of you. Yeah. Just, so 30 say, seconds just Alan, not enough. Alan, this short business is just not good enough. We need more, Alan. <laughs> we need more. So that's that was my Ken Bald sign. Very nice. I have a Ken Bald sign coming that's uh, much later that yeah. I've, I managed to finally nail that one down. I have two Ken Bald sign comics now. Okay. And this next one. I actually have like two or three as well. I have, of course, you always have more than I do, Alan. <laughs> no, my, my son girl number one is also You're son. way ahead of me. Way <laughs> ahead of me. Okay, wait, wait. Bleaker says it's the algorithm, Alan. You have to put them up at certain times of day. What okay. times of day, Bleaker? What times of day, Bleaker? You tell me and I'll do it. Times that uh, times other than what you're doing. Your short of the rifleman came in my feed the other day. Wow. You know, I did that that rifleman video like a year ago. Like, so that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know why I don't do well with shorts. Okay. I'm getting stuff from your special club that I, I pundled up this money to you, my friendship payments to you. Yeah. Okay. So, and I get stuff from four years ago. And then this guy really? comes up and he says he's Alan. I look at the guy and here's this fresh-faced, young-looking <laughs> This guy. young guy. Instead of the gristled veteran that I have sitting before me now, mm -hmm. and I look at it, who's that young kid? It must be Alan's younger brother. No, it's actually Alan. Way back when, when and I had more talking, hair. He's talking, about, he's talking about books and stuff like that, and his voice is about a, an octave higher. He says, this is the book that I really like. This is really <laughs> a cool book. Thank you. I know. So what yeah, times yeah. of the day, so, Alan? So uh, Bleaker was saying 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Okay. I think I think I put it up really late at night. It was just a random time. I, I just was like, ah, I'll put it up on YouTube. Here's the beta test. Let's try it out at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. It's, right here. it's and uh, and uh, uh, well, I think he means Eastern Eastern Standard Time usually. Eastern Standard Time, yeah. Eastern Standard Time. So you, sh you should try that and do a beta test and see if you get it. If you get a whole bunch of stuff and you'll say, wow, Bleaker, you're amazing. Thank you. And also be yeah. sure to watch Bleaker and, and Houdat and all those guys for their auction coming up on 420. Oh, wow. Um, you're just like the Bleaker advertisement some, king here. Bleaker did some beautiful intros for it. First, he did Batman. <laughs> it's beautiful. Although it looks like Mandy Patinkin because he's got his, his Petruchio thing going here. Mm-hmm. And then he, after that, then he does his bleak Joker. Says, at the end, he says, Alfred, I think that the Joker might be coming around. So then he does the Joker one, and it is the creepiest Joker. 
It's absolutely, if you haven't seen it, you must. It's amazing. Okay, I'll definitely watch and it. lots of money. Okay, I'm sorry. And that <laughs> will be the other advertisement I give you uh, this evening. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, so uh, we don't have to have YouTube ads on this. We just have uh, Steven ads. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, yeah, actually, uh, I should really attend one of those things, but I have no money. I'm, I've always spent my money. Alan, so you much. have money. If you want something, you have money. I have heard this from you since I've known you, what, two years now? And it's, I don't have any money. Oh, look what I just got. <laughs> I just got this $10,000 book, this $35,000 book. Oh, this this wonderful uh, Detective Thirty Eight. I got that. I have no money, and now I well, just got. Now I just got I, my. I already Oscar have rate. like I two have or three money. mortgage. I already have two or three mortgages on both of my kidneys, so it's not. It's not. It's not good. I mortgages just, like, on your children. <laughs> my kidneys, my children, <laughs> corneas. Well, you only I need know. one. I get. You yeah. only need one. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um. So yeah. So the next book that I was going to show is this one. And for some reason, whenever I see this book, like I've seen people try to sell this book, like on Instagram and eBay, and they always want crazy money for it. It's a great cover, but I don't know why it's like so expensive. Like Maybe I, they like to see the clown in, in handcuffs or something. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's a great cover. I, I actually really like it. Is that a but ball and chain? He's got his hands shackled with a ball? With, with a, It's a ball and chain? Yeah. So I, I actually bought this, I think, from the Ding place uh, for really cheap. I, I think I paid a hundred bucks or something like that. Oh, wow. From and every Ding time place? I see this one, it's like, you know, like a thousand dollars in this grade. You're kidding me. That's what I'm saying. I, did, I was like, what? I don't know. What's on the inside? <laughs> What's in the inside? So, yeah. So, but I always liked it. I always thought it was a good, it's got the wallets on the back. Oh, yes. The wallets, the, the, yeah, the yeah. geek. The, the the guys that bought those wallets that have zippers all the way around them and then they have like the coin the coin counter thing and all that stuff and they go yeah yeah there you go you get my coin counter I said you nerd <laughs> <laughs> okay so zipper wallet I had know? those I had those when I was a kid of course you had a zippered wallet yeah I had a zipper wallet I had a Snoopy one <laughs> a Snoopy zippered wallet. Yeah, Snoopy zipper. I like. I love Snoopy when I was a kid. I was like really well, the into Snoopy. Dig it. That's all I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it made me very popular. <laughs> totally. Okay, and then another book that I got. I think this was like fifty or uh, sixty bucks. Was this one another Joker? And I I've seen this one go for crazy money too. I don't know why. I think they misled. So is, mis is, she, is she? Is it Tessie and uh, Millie? Who's Tessie, the other Millie, blonde? Uh, um, I'm gonna guess. Is it it's, Hetty? It's okay. So this looks like Millie to me. Well, that's she's the gal calls her Millie, so that is Millie. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that's Tessie. Yeah. It's Tessie the typist. Yeah, Tessie the typist and Millie the model. And who's Hetty? And that's Georgie in the middle. Hetty would be not on the cover. <laughs> No, but what it's Hetty the what? Oh, Hetty. I don't know. Because they all have Hedy. they all have something the. No, after, they don't. Right? You know. Okay, so I actually just learned this today. Um, what was the name of it? Was it? Um. Oh, it's Hetty Divine. Divine, right? Hetty Divine. You're right. Yeah. And, and she's yeah. a model. And they said Hetty of Hollywood. Yeah. So yeah. So it's Thanks, Hetty Divine. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to show a Hedy Divine, so it's kind of made it easy for me. Um, but um, a lot of them, like, uh, what was what was the one I was looking at today? I think it was Millie. Millie, or, or I think it was a Millie. And they didn't call Millie, uh, Millie the model until later. It's like their first few issues, it was Millie, and then it became Millie the model. I think they, they, they said, oh, let's give them the, you know, the... The connector. Yeah. So um but Billy yeah. the toiler. And Billy the model. Tessie yeah. the typist. Yeah. I think that's a Stan Lee thing. I don't know. Hey look by uh Hardy Kurtzman is in this as well. Okay, so and the heady div divine that I'm gonna show is a really good one. This is a really great one. One sec. Beautiful dress. Yeah, isn't that nice? And Beautiful all the, 
and all the showgirls in the background can you see that Mm -hmm. And all the guys are looking at her instead of the girl, showgirls. And the showgirls are like a little bit upset that nobody's looking at them. So this is uh, just a great cover. Um, so this is another Marvel. Uh, this is 1948, sort of the height of the good girl. I've never seen that cook. I've never seen that book before. Oh you. really? Mm -mm. Oh really? Okay. Beautiful well, book. She has a lovely dress. Like Beautiful dress. I think I got that one and this one at the same time. This is comedy. That comics. one I have seen. Yeah. And, I think the uh, dress looks weird on that one, frankly. I don't know quite what's going on with that dress. Oh, really? I actually quite like it. It looks very 40s style. I, I think I remember um, seeing my grandmother or somebody like that with this kind of dress. Um, so it's Millie the model, Hedy the divine and Tessie the type typist begin all in this book and what um, year 48? this is 1948 so this is comedy comics number one very nice so, yeah and now now we're gonna get gay cool because <laughs> gay comics i have to sort out my gay stuff actually I have a whole bunch of these. Um, I actually like gay comics. They're quite good. They are good. Um, so this has got Basil Wolverton art as well. Do you like Basil Wolverton art? I don't. Um, I think that I think some that the, of it the is quite cool. Ugly. They're ugly, and I mean, if it's for shock value, but Wolverton is just blech to me. Yeah, uh, some of it I think is kind of interesting. So I. I you know the one that's right. Lena the hyena isn't isn't that what well, he's famous for? Yeah, Lena yeah, yeah. the hyena. So the one that's up there, can you see it? The weird, the weird. Yeah, with tails. the slug. Yeah, you. If you look at it here, wait. Okay, let me just. I want to show you that you'll you'll learn to appreciate Basil Wolverton art. One I, I will learn. Okay, one sec here. Oh, you're forcing me to climb, but like it's got like a whole bunch of tape holding it in place. Okay, so actually, okay, so you look at the, you know, the creature is very his style, right? But if you look at the girl, like just ignore the creature for a second. Actually, the girl is really well uh, rendered. Can you see that? Does, does she have, did she smear her lipstick on the upper right hand side of her lip? No, that's just like uh, this part. It's not. It's, it's not. It's not red. It's not red. It's. It's. Maybe it's just the reflection. I don't know. Okay. I think it's just the reflection. It looks. It looks like it's red here, and then it yeah. looks like smeared lipstick, but it isn't. It's just the okay. way. Well, I, 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 I hear what you're saying, but uh, Wolverton to me is he's. Uh, uh, I you know I always think that they have that one that he they always show. Mm -hmm. The, the life the, cover, that's the one with the, the, the gal, the most beautiful woman in the world, and she's absolutely ridiculous. And then the one with the big feet and all that. See, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I, I'd that's much panic. rather go with that's Kahneman panic. or, or uh, Feldstein or Baker or any number or um, Doolin or, or Lubers. Uh, but I really I like this cover. Or Wally Wood. So I, I really like this. I mean, I really love this cover. It's like one of my favorite wow. horror covers. Wow, I, I you, need to, get a, so you need to get out. No, it's, I, I think it's really cool. I really like it. Okay, I'm let's glad. have a vote. Okay, who agrees with me or who agrees with that guy? Okay, so put if you agree with me, put a one because I'm number one, and if you agree with him, put 1199.232. And so and if you don't get it exactly right, your vote doesn't, <laughs> doesn't count. count. Doesn't count. Okay. So carry the carry the the, the quotient of pi out to thirty five, and then put that down for Gentner. Yes, exactly. At least and it's a fair fight. That's what we, I like. We got to make it fair. Okay. So um, so it looks like the ones win. I don't Brown know. Brown noser. <laughs> it looks like the ones win. I think it's it's they they have good taste. Okay, they have Fair good enough. taste. They realize Fair it's enough. a great book. Okay.
Okay, so back to showing other stuff. Okay. And this one, more basil Wolverton art inside. And um, we got another Joker. I like I, I like these kind of tropes where um, where it's like you know the guy's hurt or you know he's like either that's beating out of his chest. That's or, a different look. The the faces are not finished very well. Who did the cover on that? This one's a little weird. Yeah, um, I'm not sure who did it. Uh, it's they 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 say the art inside or art related to this book is Basil Wolverton, Al Jaffe, uh, Al Fagley. And Guy Blythe. Well, Fagley would be better because I he does a lot of the Archie covers and they're good. But mm -hmm. uh, since it sucks, I think it has to be Wolverton. <laughs> wow. I, actually, I don't mind it. I actually think it's interesting. I know that you're right. right. You're right. It, it could like be rendered better. Wall, she looks like she's got a wall eye. And he looks like he's out of a 1930s advertisement, a newspaper ad. What's going on? It's sort of quirky. I give you, uh, I give you, uh, you're right about that. Yeah, uh, it is a little quirky. Yeah, see, Leator agrees. Like, Wolverton, you got to give him some love, man. Okay, okay, one sec here. Okay, so that's that section. Okay, so that was that stack. I had a stack that I showed, and I just showed it as a stack. Very well, that good. Was what, that was what was in there. How are we doing for time? Okay. And then I think I showed this. I'm, I feel like I showed this recently. I don't know. I get confused. Did I show this recently? No, but I love it. Yeah. Uh, so I've been I've been collecting. I'm trying to get the like I. I say this about pretty much every book, but I've been trying to get the complete run of GI Jane. Well, I've never think, heard you say that. I've never. Yeah, heard you never heard that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm. I don't know why, but I I, I want to get the full run of GI Jane. So. Okay, uh, Wolverton did that Mad 11 that has the gross cover people like. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, you're right. It's, you're uh, absolutely it's, right. It's ugly as hell. They oh, I love it. That, oh, they I'm on that a bunch of times. Yeah. They, they use that woman a bunch of times. Like, uh, uh, they don't say, they don't say go on the Wolverton Mountain. Okay, greatly. You don't know what that means, do you? The Wolverton Mountain? You don't know that song. I think I've heard it. They I'm say sure. don't go on Wilverton Mountain. You don't know oh, it. Okay. I think I might have heard it. I might have. It's an American. It's an American song. I, of course, you wouldn't no, know. No, no. I, I, I've heard of Americans up here as well. We get some American you have. stuff. Yeah. Like it's on, like on, that, on I know your, it's the country that on, your, that's on, your, on your socialist Canadian broadcasting network. Yeah, you know, I know America's somewhere south. I know it's like it's not a very important country, so it's hard to remember. But it's somewhere south of this great nation. Well, it used to be great nation, I should say. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. Yeah, you're welcome. You're making friends internationally now. I, I, I'm we really must good be at a smash it. in the Middle East. Canada is America's hat. <laughs> to say something entirely different but that's, that's <laughs> so yeah but i like this one so this is <laughs> i love it it's a great cover it is a great cover great so, cover yeah. great colors and stuff and and who did that or do you know uh good question it is bill williams very good yeah yeah did he See, do think... annie oakley's did he do some annie oakley covers i feel like he did i feel like you're right on that because i remember saying his name in and you said it the same way. You said it at Bill Williams. Bill, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill, Bill like, Williams. Oh. Yeah, it's yeah. Really I, really I, uh, the Bill Williams. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So well, I, I, I'm always surprised. Okay. You're well, almost. Actually, okay. Actually, see, this is really out of order. I don't know what's the plan here, but okay. Okay, this one I really liked, and I liked it so much that I actually bought it in high grade. Normally, I buy everything in low grade because I'm cheap, uh, but um, I bought this in high grade because I really like this cover, and it was cheap, actually, so <laughs> it sort of fit the bill. Um, oh, yeah. Magician. I actually like this cover. I thought it was really cool. Um, well, her name is uh, her name is Rhoda. And that's Rhoda. his assistant. And Rhoda yes. is always in deep in trouble plenty. 
And she yeah. always wears her stage costume. Well, we should send Ellen on diplomatic missions. What's the worst that can happen? A lot. Yeah. A yeah. lot can happen. <laughs> so isn't this isn't this a really cool cover? Oh yes. And I like cool. him using his like like oh, like magic -y hands, right? Well, he, uh, I say Blackstone looks a little bit different in this one. I mean, the super magician looks a little different. He's got his hair. Is, he's got this weird mustache, too. He's got a weird mustache. Like, like he's got his uh, his his stage stuff on or something because he doesn't look like he usually does. Yeah, he looks a little different. I, I give you that. You're right. It is very different. You'll give it to me? Yeah, I'll, I'll agree. I'll, I'll agree with you on that. Drop one. it in the mail. Okay. And, um... Then you got these kind of zombie-like voodoo guys. Oh boy! And that's Very, for, that's that's late forties, isn't it? This is nineteen forty-six. Um, okay. And it's a Charles Cole cover or Cole? No. Cole? Yeah, Charles Cole. Cole. Yeah, he Cole. he did he did all those covers. His Rota his Rota stuff was really good. Um, and then a lot of the guys like you'll have these. Arab looking guys with red noses and they're trying to they're trying to yeah, yeah. put her into a pot. Um, there's a whole bunch of really cool super magicians. I think I've got uh, about seven or eight of them. Yeah, I've been picking up my I bet I was picking them up for a while. The Ku Klux, the Ku Klux Klan one is the really <sighs> yeah, the that's cool the one I'd really like to get. One for that. We have another guest. Is it Mr. McFly? It is Mr. McFly. Hey, and it's Mr. in a McFly. different location because He's we've got a we have a location. killer whale on the wall instead of your poster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, He's I'm moving all my stuff location. into a different room. So um, oh, okay. a new room that's going to be bigger for uh, art and computer setup. So YouTube and Can all you that Can you turn stuff. your camera just slightly? Yeah, yeah, just the other way. Yep. There we go. Yeah. You're Oh, you're wearing the shirt too. Everyone's wearing the shirt. See? And and that he's the designer of the shirt, so he should wear it. And look at the cup. <laughs> and Steph was drinking the, the drink. Yeah. So we got all the merch. I'm gonna get me another cup of coffee. You talk with Brian all you want. I'll be right back up from Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah. So so we're promoting the the Allen merch, um, <laughs> the comic collector geek merch. I was just showing like. Uh, what you missed uh, was me just like, I, I have all my comics on the floor right now. Well, not all of them, but um, here I'll, I'll show. Actually, people don't realize what I'm doing, but what I, I'm, I'm doing is like, if you look over, wait, is it up? Yeah, up. Can you see the cubbies? Uh huh. So basically I cleared out two, one cubby worth of comics, okay? which is like one half of one thing and one half of another. And then I dumped them all on my floor. So you can see my floor. Carefully placed on your floor. Carefully, carefully dumped, on, carefully, carefully dumped on my floor, I should say. Um, so, so I put them in stacks. I'm trying to organize them because it, they're just, it's all over. I, it doesn't, I couldn't find things. It was driving me nuts not being able to find stuff. Cause like Steve would say, Oh, do you, don't you have that book? And then I'm like, yeah, but I have no somewhere, idea. Somewhere, I don't know. It's here somewhere. Yeah. yeah, and there's a few that I'm still kind of trying to figure out where they are. Ah, you feel like you need to order a shirt now? Yes. And Lyle says he would, but he can't. They don't ship to his place. They ship everywhere in the world. They ship everywhere in the world. It's well, he's in Canada. Ship. Yeah, it ships to Canada. That's, I'm a Canadian. I got the, yeah. You're in Canadian? And I'm in Canadian. Uh, I am. Yeah, so they, I just. I just rushed in, threw on my official comic collector geek merch, and okay, cool. Here I am, so you, sweaty from work. <laughs> so how was work? How, uh, like it was long. Uh, it was a tedious long day. <laughs> yeah, I think that happens. Did you, was it concrete. early start day or was it like? Uh, not too early. I was. It was like a almost eleven hour shift, but it wasn't terrible. Aren't you supposed to be taking it easy? I thought there was some weird thing about I'm that. I'm supposed to be. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. I'm just, just I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> no, my my knee has been feeling a bit better. Um, okay. And um, my wife's been giving me the tough love of like, you know, it's gonna hurt more before it 
stops hurting, you need to move and get more exercise. Are you putting a brace on it or anything to help? Yeah, I've been wearing a brace for two weeks. So I miss you guys. I I feel like I missed out on the show for like, what, a couple weeks or something? (laughs) Well, I I forgot to invite you once. I was like, ah, shoot. I I, Because I was really... um, (laughs) <laughs> well, <laughs> what happened was I slept in. I, I I almost forgot to come to the show. Actually, I was like, almost forgot to come I, to your own show. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was sort of funny. I, I, I so I was going to send out the invites before coming, and then I was like, oh, like I woke up and I was like, oh, and so yeah, like I was you, half you asleep slept and right, like you slept see, right through your opening. Yeah, I slept through my own opening, so it was a bit bad. Um, but I mm-hmm. I've been having long work days lately, so um. Yeah. Well, my my work's been picking up. It's supposed to be this way all the time, but um, usually it's 50, 60 hours a week. Yeah. And uh, I'm I'm doing a lot of little jobs in order to. I'm still waiting for you to go see Granny and the daughter and see what's going on there. I'm going to be in that neck of the woods tomorrow. So we'll see. Fair enough. Hi, Graphic Man. Actually, no, Graphic Man. man, I I just want to give a quick shout out to Graphic Man. Okay, wait, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to Graphic Man. So today in my video that I er- aired earlier today, I was showing like some of my <laughs> my uh, collectibles that I really liked in my collection. I was debating about showing some of uh, Graphic Man's uh, posters in my collection. So uh, you have, he has some amazing posters. I love the one yeah, that is the, so, uh, the Tony the Tiger is a killer. The Tony the Tiger, to do, the Popeye one. Yeah, yeah. So what I decided to do, though, instead of showing them in this week's video, next week's video, I'm going to do another top 10, uh, but it's going to be uh, comic posters. Yeah. So I actually have a pretty amazing comic poster collection. It's all pretty amazing, Alan. Yeah, it's like I have every single Warren poster they ever produced. So I have like the giant uh, Frankenstein one and the the Vampirella and you know that'd be nice to see. Are you actually going to get those out? Yeah, I'll get those out. That'd be awesome. I'm still yeah, waiting so... for your Vampirella guitar, and then you could play us a, a couple licks on it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me? You know, I actually took I took guitar lessons for about a week. <laughs> I think it was like a week or two, and then I was like, "This hurts and my it fingers." Teach you anymore. Yeah, I didn't like I didn't like the way like the strings like I was like really young so I was like it hurts my fingers I don't want to do it anymore <laughs> so I just, mm-hmm. I just quit yeah so oh well this is why I'm not very musical so um okay. oh it's so good out of that cup ladies and gentlemen <laughs> so this enameled cup can be yours if you order from Allen's store. It holds coffee better than any other cup I've ever tried. And I was in the hospitality business. Ladies and gentlemen, the Comic Collector Geek Mug. It is outstanding. Thank you. (laughs) Exquisite. (laughs) What were you going to say, Bigby? Exquisite. Oh, I was going to say I I missed everybody in the chat. So I got Lyle and... Yeah, we got Lyle. and Matt. So, hey, everybody, Cosmic Trekker. You know, I actually took hey, up Newton. judo really late in life. Uh, I took up judo in, when I was 17. But I actually late, learned it so really in life. quick. I, so, I was if like, that was late in life, then you, right now you're like, <laughs> that's well, dude. Like. You know, I wanted to, comp- <laughs> like, you know, in order to compete, you have to, you know, you should have, ta- I should have taken it when I was like eight or something like that and been like, you know, I bet it's that they have a competition level for your age level now, but you oh, would no, no, probably no. kick ass. I, <laughs> I, I competed at the Worlds, right? Right. But I competed in the World Masters. So World Masters means just old people. It's like anyone above 30 is a master. <laughs> That's how they do uh, it. So uh, I competed there. They don't have um, like a 50-plus a bracket? They do. The way it works at the Masters is they, they age tier it. So I think 30 gotcha. to like 36 or something like that. And then you're you know, saying the that judo time. ages you? No, it's just they, they have brackets. Well, well, they they do. Do. I can tell you that. Yeah, well, it's 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 a very rough sport. It's like like uh, I can't I can't think of it anymore knowing what happened to you that just bothers me still. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I just I don't like that. 
Mm. I, I, I really loved that at the time. I, I Well, find yeah. something better. Did I, did I tell that story on your stream or was it off, was it, it was off air when I told you that story about the, the, uh, the one-armed boy who his parents put him in judo? Oh, yeah? And his, his sensei taught him one move. Oh, yes. And put him in a tournament. And he kept winning and winning and winning. And at the end of the tournament, could grab the, his kid said, and block it. Well, the kid said, Sensei, why, why did I win? And he said, the only way to block this move is to grab your other arm. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have, he only had one arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a way to have to try to win, Alan. I, I, would leave. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to chop my I, arm I, off I, just I, to win. Even though you could win, I don't think you want that. No, so... Uh, <laughs> I winning is, not, know what move winning it was. is not everything, Alan. Winning is not everything. I found that. I think, that, I think the, the moral of the story was sometimes things that you think are drawbacks in life can be a plus in certain situations. Oh, my what, God. What, I'm going to have to start story? calling you Pollyanna. Yeah, <laughs> Pollyanna. So, you know, one of the stories I actually really liked in judo is um, there's two, it's kind of two parter kind of thing is. Um, how do you win any fight? Okay, you can win any fight. Have a gun. Well, okay. <laughs> never, never bring your like a gun fight. Okay? okay, that's how you're gonna win. Okay, well, the way that the sensei would say is like the the way you win a fight is not to be in a fight. So you avoid fights. Okay, that's how you win Ooh. any fight. That's but right. They actually want to demonstrate how dangerous being in a fight can be. And what they did was uh, they had this guy who's a black belt, you know, high level, high skill level. And they gave a little girl a sh like a like a pen, like like a like a Sharpie, like a like That's this. The, big, the fattest Sharpie I ever saw. Yeah, it's a Sharpie. It's a big Sharpie. OK, so they gave the girl, like, this little girl, a Sharpie. And they they, you know, they basically said, you know, try to stab, <laughs> stab the guy with the Sharpie. And, you know. The guy, you know, obviously he's like bigger. He's like, you know, it's like a little kid, right? He's going to totally beat the little kid. But actually when afterwards, when they looked at the guy's gi, there was actually marks on it. She would have actually probably gotten a few stabs in him. Mm -hmm. And that just shows you how dangerous it is to go up against a knife. You don't want to be in that fight. You want right. to avoid it. Even if you're like a really good martial artist, it's really hard to avoid a knife. And well, I've watched I've watched Strayham and and uh, Jason Stratham and all those other guys and and the muscles from Brussels and the, all those <laughs> other guys had stuff and then they never they never even got close to them. They had them all beat yeah, 13, 15 guys too. So they I think that know, I think that must be real that what you're talking about. Well, it's, <laughs> the only, it's the only real thing that really is real. It's true. Like real wrestling. Okay. Hey, do you have any funny books? Okay. So okay, back to funny. Yeah, I did, I'm not not near me. I could go grab some. Okay. If you, I, I, I'll make myself big, and then okay, I'll I'll show books, and then you can show books when like I'll show a bunch, and then you grab your books, and then. All right. I will go grab some books, and I will be back. Um, okay. I'm gonna mute. Much? I'm gonna mute my mic and go grab books. Okay, you can grab a few, and then we'll show those, okay. and I'll show a few. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to show a few, because I, I, the reason I, I went big was so that, um, because when it's three screens, I don't think people can actually see what I'm showing. Um, actually, I'm not going to show these two, but I will show the next three. Um. So this is my little bit of my, my Matt Baker collection. We got Diary Secrets. And she's kind of like thinking about whoever the inker was on that is different from his usual because there's just a lot more ink in it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um doesn't say who the inker is, but um yeah. Because usually they have their their faces are far more it's it's more refined. This one it looked like they used a, a thicker brush to to uh, slather the ink on. Yeah, it's like you can it see changes it. your face. It doesn't look bad though. 
It's just, you're right. Though. It's just it different. Is. It's sort of like that, what is it, that Frontier Western one? The inker on that one is different up for Baker as well. And you actually can tell the difference on those. Yeah. So this is Diary Secrets. No Baker. Uh, like 20. And then this is like, you'll see, yeah, you'll see the definite difference in this one. This is another Diary okay, Secrets. See, that's, th whoever that inker is, he really does have uh, Baker down. I mean, that's really good. Mm, one sec here. Let me see if I can make it show a bit. Nice. Yeah, I like this one. I like this one because um, it's really interesting crowd. So, like, if you look at the book, you got the couple, right? She's, like, selling him peanuts or whatever it is. And you got the guy in behind who looks kind of bored or something. He's kind of making a weird face. And then you I got this... I kind of going, oh, brother. Oh, brother. And then you got this couple. I'm not sure if you can see that. The couple. And the woman looks worried or something's going on or bored at being at a baseball game. And then you got this one guy right here who's like, you know, cheering or, you know, getting right into the game. So it's just like a whole bunch of different moods going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's really interesting. Like, it's not just like a simple thing. Usually, like, whenever people do these covers, it's just like, oh, they show the couple. They're really clear and. You know, and the, the whole focus is on the couple. But in this one, there's a lot of stuff that's happening in the background that's cool. Very cool. Yeah. So, I don't know. I like that one. Okay. And so, got one more Matt Baker. I think, I'm not sure if you've seen this one before. Mm hmm I love so it. This, yeah. Uh, Authentic Police Cases, number seven. From St. John, 1950, Matt Baker cover as well. And you got the girl in the red dress and guy jumping through the window. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Was I missing comments that I should have responded to? All right. Uh, okay, so... If you if I if I miss people's ex comments, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, um, and that oh, so that was Matt Baker, and another artist that we both really like is Bill Ward. Oh, boy. I love that cover, that black dress. Mm. Now you have the Canadian price variant, uh, the Canadian version of this, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And this is the American one from Quality Comics, 1949. Only issue, then it becomes Diary Loves. Mm -hmm. But it's just the the, um, the detail her, on her dress is pretty amazing. Oh, it's just Bill, it is absolute quintessential Bill Ward. It's beautiful. Yeah, I really like this one. I just like the line work on the dress. It really works. On my uh, on my wall where I have that that book pictured. The music I chose was Sundown by uh, Gordon Lightfoot. Mm -hmm. And it just fits, you know, see her in a dream like a sailor's dream. You know, you know, she don't always say what she really means, you know, in oh, a room, okay. doing, room doing stuff you shouldn't do and all this other stuff. And that the gal that's from that story is she's a bad cat because she's basically she's the villain in the thing. And then she doesn't win. And then she's crying and all this other okay. stuff. But it's like great great story inside too cool cool so yeah um this is uh another bill ward i actually like this one even more um there's a lot going on in this one too um sort of a veronica lake looking gal with the purple yeah. gloves all the way around that's great yeah and you see like a little like I think this one's interesting. Like her dress, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's got mm. like kind of like these like stars on it. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. And then they just hint, he just hints a little bit at her dress at the top here that it has like some kind of ruffles, like ruffles or a little bit of like lace on it. Just really right. well done. Like, not yeah. like, like, you know, very his subtle. hair, the hair, her hair and his hair both are fabulous. Yeah, very lots of line art on their on their hair, very Bill Ward. 
Um, so yeah. it's not like on a freighter or something like that? What's yeah, the, it looks like they're on a boat. You can see like um like what's, the little... What's the thing coming off, off the back of her head going to the spine? What is that? Um, I would guess that it's like... It's like smoke. Of... Is it smoke? No, no, no. It's not smoke. It's like some kind of um, like a cl fabric or lace. Oh, like okay. Like blowing in the wind or something. Mm. I'm trying yeah, to look that up better. It looks like a spine coming out of her head. It's not a spine coming That's out of her head. That's what it is, exactly. You got it. Uh, thank you, Brian. Okay. Tucker says, says it's a parasitic <laughs> organism. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Or lace, yes. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so you guys have no appreciation for art. Okay. Well. Oh, I thought those were great. Okay. Well, I thank appreciate you. art. <laughs> organisms. And parasitic and, organisms. That's a great one. That was a great okay. one. All right. So um I'll make you big now, Biggie. Big B. Okay. Well the books that I I should ask you if it's okay to show these. These are the variant cover books that you were interested in trading for. Yeah, show them, show them, them show them. Lot, so. okay. Yeah, you can show them. Um I'm gonna put my um Wolverton back. So we've got a beautiful uh whoops. Wow. Maybe I should close the blinds. Uh, <laughs> a beautiful Goblin Queen cover. Beautiful. That's nice. Uh, very timely with the X-Men 97 show. Which, man, that show has been so good. Yeah, I really like it. Um, I guess K-pop yeah. for this now? Yeah. Hey, K-pop. We got hey, guys, Rogue in the Savage Land. Beautiful. We've got another goblin queen with a whole bunch of manly looking demons around her. Okay. There we go. Cool. Oh. Okay, I'm back. I just had to put my book away. Uh, also, timely with the uh, X Men 97. I, like I kind of like that because it's up. like, um, it looks like it's like, um, like a magazine cover. Well, it's the Baroness, yeah. isn't it? That's Rogue from the X-Men. No, that's Rogue. Rogue. You can tell by the white hair uh, mixed with the... And it says Rogue, don't you? And it says Rogue, too. <laughs> that usually is a giveaway. <laughs> so, have you guys... Have you seen the... Was it episode five, Alan? I think the I'm on episode everyone... six. The last one... So you go all the way one... through... Yeah, so um, the last one got me buying. I bought two X Men books because of the last episode. Were they Life Death or were they? Uh, so uh, X Men ninety seven I bought, and X Men one hundred and five. So first appearance of the Imperial Guard. Yeah, it's the first appearance of first like, appearance and then of the Star first Damage? full appearance of the girl. The queen. Oh, girl. of Lalandria. Yeah, Lalandria. Lal and then we've got an Adam Hughes uh, Fantastic Four cover. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. I was like, I bet Alan doesn't even remember which ones he's. <laughs> I, I totally don't remember. Like, you know, after a while, you start, like when you see so many books, kind of they all blend in after a while. Another cool Goblin Queen cover. Yeah, it's quite nice. We actually have to finish this trade at some point, you know. We I was do. actually going to call um, you a few times. Uh, a venomized version of Colossus's sister magic. Yeah, that's really great. Yeah. I like that Over one a lot. Seven yeah. It looks like she almost has like uh, the alien parasite stuck to her chest. She, she does. It's the it's the venom parasite hanging out from her. Oh, you mean the alien like the face hugger? And yeah, like the yeah. Boob hugger. Yes, yeah, boob hugger. <laughs> Uh, and then another cover featuring uh, Ileana. Oh, that's really cute. It has a very roller derby. Roller derby looking. Yeah. Uh, it was a Zerdy cover, by the way. That was Zerdy. Oh, nice. I like Zerdy a lot. Yeah. This one I like a lot. This is a really cool uh, X23. Yeah, it's cool. It's a very the different pose than you'd normally see yeah. on covers. 
Yeah, she's got blood running off of her head there. <laughs> and is it, that's X-23, yeah, with the Wolverine yeah, claws. X-23. <gasps> yeah, I like it that she has a, a she has a fang coming out of her feet, too. And then that last yeah. one where the Wolverine, when the Wolverine dies, where she goes, and she's like super fast to action, and she just hacks guys to pieces. I thought that was really cool. Are you talking about Logan. Old Man Logan? Yeah, well, the old man Logan movie. Yeah, yeah. She had the the claw that came out of her toe. I think yeah, Psylocke is, she... is underutilized. I think she's a great character, and I think she's got great powers. I just don't think they know what to do with her. I like Psylocke a lot too. Um, I do too. I love it. Yeah, and that's Emma another Frost. one of these kind of like. I've seen um, the, I've seen the virgin covered. variant of that one. As a matter of fact, the comic shop you go to in Vancouver, that's on the wall in a nine eight for I think ninety five bucks. Oh wow! Oh nice. There's a Spider Woman, kind of a cool one. Mm -hmm. How did Spider yeah, Woman get like, her powers again? I don't know. She was genetically engineered, wasn't she? And they retconned her origin because originally she was a spider that was turned into a human, and then they retconned oh, really? it and made it that she was human who had spider powers. Yes, uh, her original first appearance. Was a, she was a spider who had been hurt. I'll have to read that again. Man, I, I really was, I'm at a loss for that. Wow. Is it wow. David Nakayama of uh, Venomized uh, Ileana? Mm -hmm. Venomized what? Ileana, Rus Ileana, uh, Ileana Colossus' sister, uh, Magic. Ileana. Okay. I like Magic a lot. I actually really liked... Um, the new mutants the girl that played magic was really great oh she was great that was she was the best part of that movie yeah uh we got so awesome. mm -hmm. is that looks, rosario dawson or whatever it looks like rosario played, dawson played, uh, yes what's her name? it's uh, mike mayhew mike mayhew um uh, i thought she did uh, a uh, terrible yeah. job by the way i i i really, I really felt i thought she was boring I think she looked. I think she looked the part, but she she was she bored. Was bored. She was bored with it. She just yeah. she looked like she was walking through to get a paycheck. Yeah, it was. It was I very really disappointing. Like this one. That one's one was really cool. Was that a Frisson? It or looks it? like Jenny Frisson. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, the autograph is down here in the corner. I don't know who's. But it's just the artwork is so different to it. Really it looks like it. It, it looks like a pencil, like a lot, you know, pencil that has not been completely, you know, like yeah. like. She's got a painted. spider up there on her head. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, she's got flowers and she's got yeah, it's just really cool looking. Mm. Um, and then we have a J. Scott Campbell, Conan, and the X Men. The dialogue was so horrible. You got yes. Conan, and then you got. Storm and Rogue and Colossus and Wolverine. I know it's. I think that's funny. Kind of a weird I like, combo, but cool. I like weird crossovers like that. I think they're funny. I like. I really like this one too. This one looks like it's not very Windsor Smith, but it reminds me of very Windsor Smith. Uh, just very um, elegant. Oh, that's really interesting. It kind of reminds me of what's that artist, uh, Van Cleef, or is it is Van? Uh, what's the is it not Van Cleef? Um, uh, what's the one you know? He does like the woman and she's lying in the lake, and there's like one with like you know what I'm talking about. Any art people here? People, come on! This is like really obvious. Famous I, don't, I don't know. It reminds uh, me of very interesting. Clempt? Clempt? Maybe it's Clempt. Do you guys know Clempt? Here's another uh, okay. uh, Dirty Zerdy. Oh, yeah, Dirty Zerdy. Uh, okay. Emma Frost uh, in her wedding gown. Emma Frost always is uh, smoking. Yeah, great character. Yeah, sexy character. We got a sketch cover of Harley's Little Black Book, uh, Bruce Tim cover. Mm hmm. I, I think I have the, the regular version of that. Are these all going to Alan? These are all ones Alan said he was interested in. Yeah, we haven't figured out what I'm actually getting yet. 
it's great that he marked them all down to like a dollar each and and that and was 20, that's exactly and 20 for did. five i thought it was pretty awesome I saw, that, I saw that power girl i just i couldn't pull the trigger on it i thought she looked a little bit too haggard oh really mm -hmm. A uh, homage to the first appearance of Venom, I guess. So. That's interesting. Uh, a Tony Daniel with um, Peter and Mary oh, that's Jane. That's a nice one. Yeah. I like Kiss covers. Tell you the truth. You like Kiss covers? You like turkey covers? You like Thanksgiving? I like and pretty much everything. Christmas covers? <laughs> you like Halloween covers? I like the, I I like this this one a lot. This Beautiful. Is like cool black hat. Yeah, black hat. Yeah. Who did that one? Um, that is a good question. It says R something. The autograph is down there in the corner. You guys can make it out. Uh, I can't read that. I can't tell who it is, but a good work though. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I, I just can't read the it, name. It looks. Uh, it looks. Like a combination of Campbell and someone else, almost. That I agree really with cool. you completely. I yeah, agree. Yeah. With you. Um, yeah, the Mandalorian was the first season of Mandalorian was really great, and then it kind of went downhill after that. And the second was okay, and the third I never saw because I refused to give Disney Plus any money. Yeah. <laughs> There's well, a, a David, David Nakayama. Nakayama. That's yeah, cool. That's yeah. Nice. I like Silk. Silk. Yeah. Yeah, really cool character. Make sure these don't fall over. Uh, this is another one of those gala covers, but it's a virgin one. So it's X23 in the gala costume. So the gala was like a big, uh, the, you know, big celebration for the mutants. So they all had, they all got dressed up. So you have them oh, all cool. different. I don't know what she dressed up as. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's like a, a fancy outfit for her, but then. Uh, the gala gets interrupted by uh, the the uh, well Nimrod and a bunch of Sentinels and uh, well, is that, is that like people. the similar to the show? That, that almost happens in the show. Like, I mean, that just happened in the yeah. Show. No, this is this is it's kind of similar to what happened in the show, but um, mm -hmm. it, this is the thing that we're going to name a whole a new team of the X of, of X Men and yeah, it's. Pretty cool. I, uh, it was interesting because Colossus Collector he reads a lot of X Men, but he's not up to current. So we were we were doing a little while ago. We drafted our an X Men team, and I was like, "Is okay. Juggernaut going to be in there?" And he's like, "Juggernaut, he's a bad guy." I'm like, "You haven't read the new stuff." Have you? <laughs> so Juggernaut is a good guy in the new stuff. Yeah, he's reformed. Oh um, man! So. So oh, in the part where bad. they're where they're coming in killing all these mutants, Juggernaut's coming in screaming like no, and he's trying to fight Nimrod one on one, and he gets his helmet blown off, and he's just getting his face pummeled in, and yeah, it's, it's pretty, how pretty did brutal. he get his helmet? How did he? How did Juggernaut get the helmet again? He he has the helmet to keep Xavier to keep similar to, Mag similar to Magneto. Yeah. Yeah. So he got from battle oh, it's similar to Magneto. The reason why Magneto wears the helmet is to keep it's Xavier from Xavier. using psionic powers on him. We don't know where he got so, the helmet from. I don't know where he got the helmet from, but I do know that's why he wears the helmet. So, uh, another battle chaser is this one is the uh, kind of the, uh, what is that called? The tint, the photo tint kind of deal there. Yeah, I know the old color color photo. Uh, sepia tone, that's the word, isn't it? Sepia tone. Oh, wow. Okay. Fancy word. Uh, here we go. We got a uh, vampire hunter book. Okay. I don't remember the name of it. Oh, is that, uh, what's her name? Blood? Um, Elsa Bloodstone? This is an homage to uh, Batman oh, Year Duck, One. Yeah. But it's yeah. a Darkwing Duck, um, yeah, it's a Darkwing Duck version variant of that homage mm -hmm. to Batman Year One. Are you finding these yourself, or are these from Travis or who? 
These are from Travis. Um, Tra so Travis gave me these are the yeah. Uh, he he gave me a, a box of varying books to see if uh, any of my fr other friends wanted them because uh, he picked up some books from me and he is sure. in debt. To I'll me. be right back, guys. Just give me one. Okay. Minute. <laughs> so um, so he gave me some what books too. Brian, what did he get from you? Oh. Uh, he got that 50 um first uh first appearance of Harley. Um he got a bunch of the late issues of G.I. Joe, the really low print run issues. Uh he got including the last issue and the uh the McFarland homage G.I. Joe special uh in super high grade. So he was pumped to get those, but um mm -hmm. so um He's trying to work off his debt. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, spider ham. <laughs> that was Peter an homage Parker. to Peter Parker. And uh, that was an homage to Spider-Man 300. And this is an homage to Spider-Man 300. Um, I don't know who that character is. That, that's not Silk. I don't know who that character is. Anyone? White haired spider gal. Cat? It's not the black it's cat. It's not black cat because she's got a Spider Man uniform on. But it's, I don't, it's not silk. Is it the. Uh, maybe it's uh, uh, the Julia. The Julia Carpenter, the Spider Woman from Secret Wars. He had Good white hair, right? I, I don't. Even with a program, I can't figure out the players. <laughs> And then uh, we got uh, uh, Spider Boy and uh, Venom, the uh, Kid Venom, something like that. So, Virgin variant of that one. How did Spider Boy get his powers? Did he get bit by a spider too? How did Spider Boy get his his powers? I have not. I will be honest. I have not read. Uh, how Spider Boy got his powers. I know that he was brought into continuity because there was a dagger that Morloon and his cult were using to erase people from existence. And um, at some point, uh, Peter Parker ends up like breaking that dagger and bringing everyone back that they've ever erased so there's all these characters that we've never heard of because they were erased from continuity a long time ago what a handy device that is yeah it's called uh, deus ex machina right uh, <laughs> so here's a cool foil uh, mm -hmm. this is the i think that this is uh, comic tom's book uh, i forget the name of it uh, if alan was here he would shout it out but i don't know anybody in the chat Comic Tom's books, the one that he's writing. But this is the foil version of that. Virgin uh, Mary. This is an actual one of the metal comics. I've never, this is the first one I've ever held. It is super heavy. Um, and it is numbered, I don't know if you guys can see. On there, it is numbered 14 of 15. Wow, <laughs> so in that book, I think the book is called, if I'm not wrong, It Eats What Feeds It, I think is what it's called. Spider Boy was crossed with a spider, and Matt says, uh, Wikipedia does not tell how Juggernaut got his helmet, so we don't know yet. Um We've got a cool, I think this is this Brian Boland, maybe. Uh, Joker, Batman. Looks like him. Foil cover. I can't tell if I like foils or not because they're so hard to see the picture. You know, you have to, in, you have to hold them just right they look great. Them. Yeah, in person they look great, and but on video you got to get them just right, right? Yeah. <laughs> um. So this is a Mike Mayhew signed first appearance variant cover of uh, 
All uh, Hallows Eve, All Hallows Eve, Hallows Eve, Hallows Eve, that's her name. So cool uh, witch cover inspiration thing there. Signed by Mayhew down there, gold ink. Premium. Premium. It's got a big old certificate on the back there. Wow. <laughs> Travis is a big Mike Mayhew fan, so this is a beautiful book. This is a Virgin variant Alex Ross uh, Starfire. Mm, gorgeous. Yeah. Sort of looks like Tina Louise. You can see that. If I held it at the right angle. <laughs> Ginger Grant. How many spider characters are there? I don't know, Matt. There's a lot. So this is another homage to the first appearance of Venom, I believe. Looks like Molly Ringwald. I did, huh? And this one, I, I really like this one. This is a Venomized uh, Gwen Stacy, I believe. That's this, nice. Uh, I really like that. Yeah. I'm back. Very cool. Look. Yeah, the Hello, ton of books sir. to show. I did. I'm just showing books. You can say when. I can stop. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want. But <laughs> this is the uh, version variant of the first appearance of uh, the Black Widow as Venom. Oh wow! Did they use what's that the, character? Much? What is the uh, comic Tom book, Alan? That he's doing. You remember the name of it? Oh, um, I have it. If you want me to show it. The common so one that I was interesting was Mr. Freeze. I had a foil one that was the Virgin variant of it, and I was trying to remember the name of it. So X23 Virgin variant. I like her. How many yeah, spider characters character. are there? That's, Probably a, that's a, lot. a good question. No one knows, Alan. There's too many. Like little Phoenix. I think that's maybe Zerdy. I don't know. You know, you know, I have no metal comics. I don't think I have any metal covers. There is, uh, I, I just showed one. I just showed one that you asked for. It's the it was a number to fifteen. Well, it's super heavy. I really oh, like yeah. this Psylocke. Uh, it's really nice. Really cool. Kind of a negative space one. We just stopped. Yeah, I was going to say negative like space. It. I think if and she more uses more. powers correctly, I mean, I mean, I don't know how you'd be able to fight her. I don't know how you would fight that. Oh, that's, that's really, really pretty cool. Yeah. Is that Storm. supposed to be Storm? That's Storm. Yeah, she got Did her she X bank like, up. A cup of coffee too. Yeah, she's holding the cup of coffee. I think this is the her the the uh, gala cover, but virgin. That's really cool. Yeah. So, all right, we'll stop there. Oh, that's good. There's good. still a bunch more. <laughs> good, good, good. Wow, good Alan, you're going to have a heck of a collection coming up. Yeah. That's a big I, box going to Stackery, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, he kept what, saying, what, we, were, we were trading the other night, well, the other night, like a couple of weeks ago. And he's like, he kept saying, well, okay, but more good girl. And I was pulling out Golden Age stuff. And I'm like, well, this is kind of good girl. This is kind of good girl. And he's like, where's mm -hmm. the good girl? And I, I didn't realize he was talking about the modern good girl. Yeah, I yeah, was yeah. like, oh, oh. Because you had a lot of like um, golden age, but it was like uh, stuff less interesting. Like prime, and it was like, yeah. It wasn't, yeah. yeah. I like good It was but, like you were interested, but you were like, oh. So this is the metal one, though, Alan. This is the one that the metal one you had me oh, set aside cool. for you. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, I remember you saying it was some metal. Yeah, so it's it actually like heavy. it's quite heavy. It's super heavy. And it's numbered to 15, 14 to 15 down here in the corner. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. I have a book that is a leather cover. So you have the, and I, they I, actually print it on leather. And it's a 9-9, nine, nine, but it's naughty. And I can't, I wouldn't be able to show is it Is that anyway. one of the Lady uh, Death ones? Uh, I don't know if it's Lady Death or if it's something from the Pharaoh Lounge or Tiger Beat or oh. something. I, I don't know who. I don't know who does. It's one of those where the interior is 
it's it's naughty and and uh, but the, the they had I think only seven or eight leather mm-hmm. I mean actual leather covers I'd never seen a leather cover before and it came back a nine nine and I guess out of the only nine nine they had which no one is even after them but it was sure. here is this nine nine remarkable leather cover it was you'll have to show it to me later that'll be cool. I will when I get home cool when cool. I get home. <laughs> so that's Man, the uh, home Pacific, North, Pacific Northwest fish right there. Got the mountains. Yeah, I was and thinking the, it looked like, kind of like and that. The moon. <laughs> yeah, native style. One thing we never asked you, uh, and I was curious about: Do you what tribe are you from? Uh, Aleut. Aleut. Oh, okay. Yeah, Alaska native. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. I have a lot of other tribes also that are smaller. Mixed. Portion, yeah, but a majority Aleut. Aleut, okay, cool. Because like I'm, I'm from the East Coast, and the big native tribes we had were the the Micmac, and um, cool. What's other? Uh, In Alaska, a lot of it's the Clinkets because you have the mm-hmm. and the Eagle and the Raven Clan for those up there, and of course mm-hmm. the Aleut by is also very much so. I don't know what the conflict was. Between the Aleuts and the Clinkets, either I don't know what I'm because the Clinkets were at war with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> they came down here to the Multnomah Indians. We were Fisher Indians, and they were they just considered us slaves. And they came down here to the Pacific Northwest and took a whole bunch of slaves up back up with them. Oh wow, uh, it's really interesting. I did hear about human bound skin uh, skin ones, but the Grim the Grim yeah. War or whatever. I that's yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah. I just don't. That's not so bueno. Yeah, um, it's a nine nine. <laughs> it's a nine nine. nine, nine. <laughs> it's nine nine human skin. Um, okay, so um, it's getting on to two hours. It's past I, two hours. We should wrap it. Yeah, we should wrap it. So um, I was debating about showing one more, but we'll show, show one, one more. more. Show one you more. Were in for a penny, in for a pound. Show one more. Okay. So okay, I'll and I'll wrap this fire with these. Better this, be good. It better be I got, good. I have a last stack. So uh, these are all stacks that I've been going through, right? So I'll <laughs> rapid fire this last stack, and then uh, then we'll wrap it. Okay, so this cool. will be the grand finale. It's not maybe not cool. grand finale material, but we'll go with it. So we'll go with <laughs> my Patsy Walker collection. So Love Patsy it. Walker number one. Very cute. Nice. Cute and. I got this one I was so shocked when I won it. I, I really don't don't know why people didn't bid on it. I so I'm gonna just take it out of the plastic. Patsy Walker number two. It's a great cover and rare as hell. Really rare. And I got it for like a hundred bucks or something like that. Uh, you stole it. It's a five oh. Nice. Yeah, five oh. Really pretty. I mean, just really I I I like the way she looks. She's kinda I don't know, in her own way. And nope, you I gave, gotta, it, a you gave it a thumbs up. <laughs> I gave it a thumbs up without even trying it. It just naturally is a With thumbs up. With your finger, up. somehow. Somehow. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying. Um, when I actually try, it doesn't work. It counted your other hand as having a thumbs up because you have the four fingers. I think it was this one. Up. It was this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, Pretty soon you'll trigger some other one. Yeah, <laughs> the, I don't know. I the, like the that. Can trigger people, Alan. <laughs> and then this one's a weird one. This is uh, A one, um, A one comics number ten. The Archer. Oh. What's the name of the green character? The Archer. The Archer. The Casser. Um. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, it's supposed to be the first appearance of the Casser. Of the Corsair, James. Corsair, Corsair, Corsair. That's a that's a Corsair? pirate. That's a pirate. Jupiter yeah. James has a question for you. Okay. Did it come in the plastic cover, or do you get the cases separately? It came in the plastic cover. That's the grading. So are, are you asking about the grading? He's, yeah, he's referring to the, the cases. Maybe he's the not familiar with is grading what, what, and slamming. These are these slabs, like. I don't know. When I first saw them too, I thought they were weird too. 
Um, so comics, when you get them graded, they put it in this like plastic case and um, they just make it easier to sell because everyone knows what they're getting. And for example, this one's like a 4.0. So you know that it's, you know, relatively, you know, relatively complete. And uh, well, it does two things. It does that. There's also the drawback. You can't read it anymore. But You can't read it anymore, but it is protected. And if you're yeah. as clumsy as I am. You, but you can you read almost all different. of this stuff online. So it's yeah, not I read them all online. Yes. Anyways. yes, yes. Actually, this is really cool. This is the Dick Tracy radio thing. Radio oh, cool. watch. There's radio. Yeah, but it's three ninety eight back then. I bet that was expensive. That that's yeah, they're, just listening. they're just listening to the radio. It's not like you talk on it. I know. Uh, but you could pretend, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know. I think that one's kind of cool. And they were, uh, James said he that's really cool. He didn't know that anything about grading. So, yeah, I mean, it is a uh, relatively. It's if you're if you're a collector, you'll you'll start seeing it a lot. That a lot of the books are graded nowadays. Um, and then this is Buzzy. This one was really cheap too. Basically, cost of the slab. Uh, this is Buzzy number well, 43. Well, cool. I just like these hot for teacher covers. I don't know. That's another thing I collect. Yeah. And you might point out that the inner inside the cut, the book itself is basically sealed in a mylar like substance. Yeah. Then, they, there's like an inner well. That and they, then it's, they call that the inner well. And then they slide it into the hard case. And then they basically seal it, and it has the grading information up at the top on the label. And that's how they you do it. You can't crack them out, though. You can't crack them yeah. out if you really wanted to. That's a great and, book. That's Zoot. And, and this is a Zoot. Matt Baker oh. cover. I have to say, as a, as far as Bakers go, it, she looks pretty busty for Baker to me. Yeah, she looks really busty, actually. And her hair does not look like Baker either. It looks like uh, A little bit like her. If you see it, it's kind of going somewhere. It's yeah. going somewhere. <laughs> it's going somewhere. And you're you're the one that said that the uh, the, the curved dagger. The curved dagger. This is actually a straight dagger. It's a Bowie. So yeah, it's 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 just it, he she looks more toppy for a, a a baker. I know. I mean is. also look at that look at the lion's faces. I think that might be it. Look at the lion's faces. I know it I mean, looks like it could be a mix of Cayman and uh Baker. Because the, uh, lion, the lions is, have human faces almost. Yeah, a I, I think it's an amalgam between the two of them. Truly, I do. Yeah, but it's it's denoted as a came uh, as a Matt Baker. This one is. Cosmic says her face isn't bakery. No, it uh, isn't. Yeah, I would say it looks Caymany. But here's somebody, a somebody fouled up on that one, Alan. <laughs> I'm not sure. This one looks like a little bit of both too. That looks more. That looks much more. That bakery. one looks more bakery. <laughs> that, the weird thing is, it doesn't say who it is. So well, you, you look at that hair, and you look. At I know the, the hair definitely. Looks, that's <laughs> and you look. That, like, that looks like Baker to me. I think it yeah, is. It, you know, that's the thing. Like, if you compare the hair, look. I mean, the this crazy amounts of hair. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of hair. And, and the face the is on the lions, and the, and look at the animal, the ibex or whatever it is, doesn't have a face. It just it looks more like it, true to form. That has to be that is a baker cover. I would be willing to bet you. Yeah, I, I think this is a baker too, but it's, it was in the baker collection, so like. I like how the <laughs> the vine is like is that a, that's a vine, right? Not a snake. It looks like yeah, a it's snake. a vine. She's it's swinging. Vine. She's swinging. I like how it's wrapped, it's around, wrapped her leg. around her body a bit. Yeah. It's a Klingon vine. Yeah, but you know it's a good grade too. Uh, it did reasonably well on this one. Okay, so those are my books. Very cool. Thank um, you. A trekker created a word tonight. Bakery. It's an adjective. It's very bakery. It's very bakery. Okay, I put, or it's not quite bakery. Right I'm, I'm, I make up words all the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, um, oh, excellent wait. books, excellent books, guys. Really good. Right. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't participate with books this time, but uh, I sure uh, I could bits with the best of them. Mm -hmm. You do. <laughs> I'm a good it's not, it's like show without Stephen. <laughs> yeah, so it's good to have you guys to come. Uh, so yeah, so um, 
I did miss making up to you guys. the ones that were on my floor, by the way, that I showed tonight. Very nice. Very nice books tonight. Very, and I, all that modern good girl that Alan's going to get, you're going to be getting all kind of good books out of Alan yeah. for that. So, by the way. Stephen, you contributed books, with your mug. That's right. And your shirt. Yeah, you contributed with the mug, yes. So, and your, by and the way. Your, yeah, I was just going to say, and, like. Uh, okay, wait. Right. Uh, your glowing uh, yes, endorsement of the box. It says here, what does it say? It says, made in China. Really? Yeah. I think it's made in America, I thought. Made in China? Made in yeah. Oh, that's a shame. And I can't make out that there's a there's a killer whale jumping through. Well, it's the... Is the mug made? The mug might be made, but then the print might be done in America. So, well, it says made in China. You can see. Yeah, yeah. And then I see the made orca, in China. Orca, what is it? Orca. So probably, it? probably the company that I use, right? They just they they source wherever they can to get the cheapest or most affordable but high quality. Um, <laughs> product. Let, me Let me quickly rephrase. <laughs> The cheapest, cheap ass cheapest, thing I can get. But super high quality. The fine top quality of the line. that you get. They source the most affordable high quality merchandise. That's right. The, the price, best, best the quality. The price down for the buyer. Yes. But I was trying to say, and you guys kept on cutting me off, but uh, was I showed a half of the books that are on my floor. And the, the books that were on my floor represent one cubby of my collection. Like just one there. cubby yeah so you can see all the cubbies right you can see all the cubbies yes yes i see the cubbies i see the cubbies i see, I see a couple gaps you're you're not filling them up yet so those no that's what's on the floor the couple gaps it's like one half from one box and one half from another box so it's a full cubby that's on my floor so you got a mess of books buddy that's all i can so see. you can tell how many books there would be books. there's there's 20 cubbies each with that much books in it. And that's just that one wall. And then the same is behind me as well. And then there's two, uh, then there's another 10. No, sorry, more than that. How many cubbies is it? Another. I think you need an intervention, son. You've got too like many cubbies. So it, I figure I have about 2,000 slabs. What's the purple thing behind you? It says big band, big band Christmas. What is that? Uh, that was a uh, thing that my uh, my uh, son, uh, my son-in-law uh, played the bass guitar, and mm -hmm. uh, they had this big they had big band stuff. It was really cool. And of course, you see, and you know who the little kid with the red hat is, don't you? You uh, you told me once before. It's like some like food or something. Well, it's some food or something. It mm -hmm. must be some food or something. That it's doesn't some food play. character. You know who it is, Brian. I don't. I, 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 I'll be honest. It's Marky Mapo. Do you remember Mapo? Oh, yeah, cereal? the Mapo one. See, yeah, Mapo cereal. See, the food thing. I was right. Just Google, go on YouTube and go uh, Marky Mapo and look at the ad. It's hysterical. He's this sort of lop eared kid. He says, I want my Mapo. And the father's trying to shovel it into his face and the kid won't take it. Then the, the, the here comes the plane. And the kid's going, no. And then the father eats and goes, mmm. And he starts eating Mapo. Then he says, I want my it's a great ad from like 1952 <laughs> or something like that. It's it's and I don't think I don't think they've made Mapo forever. I don't know. Maybe somewhere they still make Mapo. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Maple. It's like maple cream of wheat is what it is. Mm. Gotcha. There was a there, there was an ad that we had that was similar where it was like um, you know where this little boy's eating it and Mikey will eat. You know Mike will eat. Oh, that's they, life cereal. Oh, yeah. Life cereal. Like, that's life cereal. Which yeah. is like which is like wheat checks or rice checks, and they have a little bit of of, of uh, sugar on them and stuff, and then you just gub it all down. But I of course went with sugar jets, and I'd have a mountain of sugar and cream, and and it was very good. Yeah, see, it's not good for me, which is was why it's so good. <laughs> okay, but that was many years yeah, ago. Not good for you. It mm. isn't good for you. I don't like Loma Linda. Nothing either. I don't like Loma Linda. So yeah, I, I I always liked um like There's all cereal commercials would, would say part of a good balanced breakfast, 
and they would show like a glass of orange juice. They would show some fruit. They would show like uh, like a plate of like bacon and like. Of course, no, it's a <laughs> giant the... bowl of cocoa puffs, man. It's a giant bowl of cocoa puffs with half and half. And you yeah. gub that down, you jump on your skateboard, and then you go. Mm. In about an hour and a half, you're crashing because all the sugar's gone. <laughs> all the sugar rush is done. All right, yeah. buddy. Hey, can, I, can, I tell Thanks, a quick, guys. can I tell a quick quick story? Oh, quick, quick story. Quick, 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 quick story. Quick, so, Brian, so uh, you know the, the giveaway that we did for the art on Bronze Age Nerds Channel? That I didn't win. That you didn't win. <laughs> but uh, so so we did the giveaway, right? Mm -hmm. Um and the person who won uh, said, oh, it's so awesome that I won. And then he said, you know what? I would really like for you guys to give that art to Jen. And just uh, so oh, she wow. has a reminder of, some, of all the people who care about her. Wow. And, and so I, did, uh, it's I just contributed and didn't compete. He did it the right way. If I had won, that's exactly what I would have done. He's, he's a yeah, good so, wonderful Yeah, so he, so uh, it's being hand delivered to her next week. So, uh, oh wow, so that's great. Yeah. How much that's did she raise? Nice. How much was raised? Uh, I don't know how many. We got over twenty people to donate for uh, out of just our little thing. But she's up over the, the twenty five thousand over... she that she needed to get. So, but yeah, uh, she's how still much, needing how money how much, to. Yeah, get money. What's that? What? How much money was raised? All together, she uh, twenty five thousand was the goal. She's over that now, so uh, she's in. I'm so glad she's in the stretch goal, stretch goal mode now. So we're trying to just uh, make sure that she has the funds to continue to afford um, to get by while she's going through treatment. So mm -hmm. that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Very cool. Alan but it was, was I thought it was really really nice that the guy gave the art to her. So mm -hmm. that was a yeah, class. Thank you guys uh, uh, for for uh, holding up the comic end, which I couldn't this time. Uh, it's That's a okay. pleasure, and thank you very much, chat, for being here. We uh, we couldn't make it without you, and we appreciate all the Ooh. input you give us, and it's wonderful. And uh, thank you again for for coming and watch us on our our our. Uh, now this is a Friday chat because we have our Monday chat, and then we mm. have a, a, a every other week we have the Friday chat. Yeah, and then. No, be on Bronze Age Nerd tonight too. So if you guys want to, oh, check out uh, Big B on Bronze Age Nerd as well. So yeah. bonus, and they Big both B. and they both have beards. We yeah. do. Oh, there was, there was some name. guy he put. He, so we there. had the thumbnail, the thumbnail for the show, and a guy commented. He's like, "So the thumbnail looks like you guys are in love." And then the music, I'm out. He didn't even stay for the, the beginning <laughs> of the show. Like just the the music that was leading into the show. He's like, "I'm out." <laughs> Oh, wow. bronze, looked at, bronze looked at it and goes, Why did he, where did he get the looks like we're in love? So then later on, I, I sent a picture to Bronze. I'm like, hey, my boss is making chili dogs today for lunch. And I gave him like a thumbs up. He's like, it looks like you and the chili dog are in love. <laughs> it's like I'm out. <laughs> as long as there's love involved, that's, that's the only thing that matters. Yeah, love yeah. is all you need. Very cool. Anyway. All right. Bye-bye, guys. See you later. Bye.